Now, cutting the penalty minutes down. He started that a couple of years ago. Now off the uh, right wing boards, a puck driven into the king zone, blocked by Mike Blake. Puck comes around the right side, taken there by Kenny Houston, ahead to Dion. Dion down the right wing, flyer zone. Dion shot, blocked. Dion in front, backhander, saved by Lindbergh. As Dion got around Mark Howe to pick up the loose puck. Now Howe behind his own net, sends it around the boards on the left wing. Flyers trying to bring it out into forecheck for the Kings with Brian Inglom. Puck comes up the center, though, tipped away and picked up by the Flyers. Glenn Cochran, he drives it back behind the King net. Flyers will change on the fly. Out come the Sutter twins now, Rich and uh, Ron, numbers 14 and 15, up to center ice. Puck taken now by the Flyers. Sittler, he passes on the right side and just off the stick of Rich Sutter. He's number 15. He goes in deep and bumps Engblom. Now Bernie Nichols checks Rich Sutter. Puck taken in front now by Sutter. Drive deflected wide. Just deflected wide on the shot by Rich Sutter as the Kings put a pass right up the slot. Now in front, shot score! The Flyers, a perfect pass in front to Rich Sutter. And he was just on the right side of the crease. He took the pass from behind the net from veteran Daryl Sittler with a beautiful assist. And the Flyers grab an early lead at one to nothing. Puck just barely went in off the inside of the left post, trickled over the red line. And for the youngster, Rich Sutter, his fourth goal of the season. Again, the Kings giving up those high scoring opportunities from right in the slot, 10, 15 feet in front of the goaltender. One nothing Flyers, they have it again. Pass off the left wing boards, comes into the King zone. And Jimmy Fox can't hang on to it. Taken away by Ron Sutter, and his backhander is stopped by Blake in front of the net, and he hangs on. We'll remind you, this is an official copyrighted broadcast of California sports and the Los Angeles Kings, and is intended solely for the private non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, rebroadcast, or other use of the accounts of this game without the express written consent of the Kings is prohibited. The goal, Rich Sutter, his fourth from Sittler, Daryl Sittler moving from center ice to left wing on this line with the Sutter twins. Rich Sutter, former first pick of the Pittsburgh Penguins two summers ago. He was acquired less than two weeks ago in a multiplayer deal. Puck taken by the Kings on the face off to the right of Mike Blake and uh, Chorney with it now. Chorney ahead to Bernie Nichols. Nichols gives it to Jimmy Fox. Fox with a point in nine straight games. Drives it into the flyer zone and back to get it is defenseman Brad McCrimmon who is playing outstanding defense for the Flyers. Now it's intercepted though. Pass in front to Fox alone. He shoots wide to the right side. Nichols gave it to Fox on the right side of the net and his shot went wide and now the Flyers drive at the length of the ice and as Chorney gets back to touch it we have an icing call against the Flyers. The Kings with a great chance to tie it up and Jimmy Fox shot it wide. Jimmy Fox point blank had a lot of time about 10 15 feet to the left of goaltender Pelly Lindbergh and uh, like he has been doing for most of the first month he's been trying for that upper corner right there he just missed uh, beating Lindbergh on the glove hand side Jimmy Fox off to a great start we mentioned in the pregame report a nine game point scoring streak the longest of his young NHL career and now the veteran Bobby Clark out to take the face off to the right of Pelly Lindbergh Clark on the draw against Terry Roskowski. Loose puck is picked up by Clark right in the slot in front of his own net. He passes up the center ice, taken away by Jay Wells. Wells drives it right back into the flyer zone. one nothing Flyers lead. Pass comes all the way down into the King zone and is chased down by Engblom, and the goaltender Blake goes off to cut it off behind the net. Brian Engblom's pass along the right wing boards to Kevin LaValle. He's bumped by Clark. LaValle now loses it to veteran Bill Barber. Barber and Clark along the boards in the King zone, left wing side. Now Clark tries to pick it up. He's bumped by LaValle. Barber tries to play it. He's bumped by Engblom. Finally, Clark comes out, centers it out to the left point to Cochran. Cochran with it. He sends it back on the right side. Now in front to Barber. Couldn't get a shot, and it's taken by the Kings, Terry Ruskowski. Ruskowski's pass to Jay Wells. Wells pass off the boards, comes out to center ice, taken away by Mark Howe. Son of the great Gordy Howe drives it right back behind the King net. 17-17 to go in the first period. Kings are down one nothing. Wells headmans it up to center off the stick of J.P. Kelly and the Flyers take over there. Flyers at center ice. Here's Brian Propp has to chase it back in his own zone and almost lost it there, but Cochran took uh, his man out. That was Kevin LaValle. Now it's taken by Dave Poulin. Poulin, the rookie, left wing, King zone, pulls it in deep, and Jay Wells just got a piece of him to knock it off, knock him off balance. Now Wells is knocked down, tucked in by Holmgren in front of Poulin. He shoots, saved by Blake. Poulin moved out in front of the net, and now the puck is caught in the back of the King net, even though Paul Holmgren tried to kick it loose and couldn't do it. I don't know if he cut any of that twine or not. The linesman will check it. 
But Poulin had a great chance out in front. Again, the opposition getting a good chance from point blank. They won the battle along the boards. And, of course, Holmgren has done that for many years. He slipped it right in front to the youngster out of Notre Dame. And Poulin uh, had Blake down but just could not lift it. Blake, as you mentioned, might have got a stick on it, deflected it over the crossbar. And then Engblom, along with Holmgren, fell on the puck to stop play of the linesman. Now checking the mesh to see if, indeed, the right skate of Paul Holmgren cut to any portion of it. Dave Poulin uh, is 24 years old, number 20 for the Flyers. As we said, he played four years at Notre Dame University. He was signed by the Flyers as a free agent in 1983. He played in Sweden last year. Poulin scored goals on his first two shots in the National Hockey League. He must have thought, boy, nothing to this league. Two shots, and he had two goals. We mentioned also in the pregame report, Bob, uh, a revamped defense from the last couple of years for the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, the only defenseman who was here three years ago playing regularly was young Glenn Cochran. So that tells you about uh, uh, the personnel changes on defense. Kings have Dion out at center with Houston and Charlie Simmer on the wings. Face off to the right of Mike Blake. Puck comes against the boards. Left wing side, King zone. Held in there. Prop went for it. Now Poulin goes for it. It comes out to Brad Marsh at the left point. He holds it in the King zone. But his pass taken away by Hardy. Ken Houston knocked one of the Flyers down. And uh, nothing called. The puck comes to the flyer line tipped away there and Mark Hardy has it back at the king line Hardy chased in by Brian Prop. Hardy's pass back out the center taken by Brad Marsh Marsh at the red line he gives it to Brian Prop. Prop down the left side tries to step around Hardy Prop going in deep Prop still with it in deep in the corner goes behind the net Prop around the right side and it's taken off his stick by Russ Anderson Anderson ahead to Houston Houston can't clear it left point Poulin shooting wide to the left rebound over to Charlie Simmer for the Kings Simmer in the King zone. It's one nothing. Pass up the middle, stolen by Poulin. Hope checked away by Hardy. Picked up by Prop. Prop to Holmgren. He lost it. Picked up by Dion. Out the center ice to Houston. Back to Dion to the flyer line. Dion down the right side. Dion bumped by Brad Marsh, and the puck taken over now by Miroslav Dvorak. Dvorak's pass comes out the center ice. 15:49 to go in the first period. One nothing Flyers. As you join us on radio and television tonight. Puck taken by Brad Marsh. Here's Marsh up the center. Flyers moving right to left. Marsh drives it in off the body of Brian Engblom in the King zone. Doug Smith back to get it. Smith behind the King net. Bounces it off the board. Up on the left side to Jay Wells. Wells clears it up the center. Takes a check and clears it. Puck comes back on the right side now. Doug Smith with it there. Smith gives it ahead down the right side. Try to give it to Anders Hawkinson. Poked away and back to the King blue line where Engblom has it. His pass broken up by Sittler. Now Engblom gets knocked down in front of the King bench and he falls down on top of the puck. one nothing Flyers. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Here, Nick in the game the Kings finally won here 5-4 they were outshot badly about 10 to 2 early in the first period here's Jay Wells for the Kings drives it into the flyer zone Buck is picked up in deep by Rich Sutter he's bumped against the boards but the Flyers come out with it now here's Brad McCrimmon ahead to center ice Here's Sittler, right wing pass, Rich Sutter, shooting, saved by Blake. Puck goes high in the air, Blake lost sight of it, Sutter picks it up behind the King net. Sutter walks around in front, and his pass tipped away by Engblom. Puck is picked up by the Kings, up to center ice comes Jarvis to Hawkinson, he shoots from center ice, and a save made by Pelle Lindbergh. As Anders Hawkinson from Sweden, shooting on fellow Swede Pelle Lindbergh, the flyer goaltender. Now the Kings are going to be offside on the play as Bernie Nichols got knocked down in the flyer zone. And when Brian McClellan brought it across the line, the Kings were offside. Kings will be home next Tuesday night against the St. Louis Blues. And there are tickets available at the Forum Box Office and all Ticketmaster outlets. Kings with Bernie Nichols, Jim Fox, and Brian McClellan out now as uh, the Kings try and try tie up the game. They've been outshot 6-2. to two. Brian McClellan, a very pleasant surprise. He's averaging nearly a point a game. Eight points, three goals, and five assists in nine games. And they've probably been the most consistent line since the start of the season uh, with Bernie Nichols, of course, the center. Nichols wins a draw to Mark Chorney, and Chorney drives it back behind the flyer net. one nothing Flyers lead. 14.30 to go, first period. Here's Mark Howe to center. To the King line. Drops it down the middle, and he tried to get it to Tim Kerr, broken up by Bernie Nichols. Kings with it in their own zone. Kings moving left to right as Bernie Nichols brings it up the center ice of the red line. Nichols still with it. He gets knocked down at center by Rick McLeish. Puck is cleared back out for the red line. Taken there by Wells. Off to Jimmy Fox in the right wing. Fox cutting down the right side, trying to get around Cochran. Gives it back to Chorney at the right point. Chorney's pass in deep to McClellan behind the flyer net. McClellan gives it to Bernie Nichols. Left wing side. Nichols flyers out. Nichols spins in the corner, trying to get around Mark Howe. Nichols still with it. Gets knocked down behind the net by Howe. Puck comes over to Brian McClellan. Right wing corner. McClellan checked there by Cochran. Nichols comes in. Nichols bumps Cochran. It comes back to McClellan. McClellan right side. He's checked from behind there. Puck is taken away by the Flyers now as Cochran picks it up. Gives it away to Bernie Nichols. Left side up the middle. Shot score by McClellan. 
Cochran gave it away right to Bernie Nichols. He went to the left corner and fed it right out in front of the net to Brian McClellan. And the big guy from Bowling Green University ties the game at one to one. Well, we uh, no sooner stop talking about the big guy, Brian McClellan. He scores a goal, and for Brian McClellan, that is goal number four. Bernie Nichols with a beautiful setup. Excellent work along the boards by that line of Nichols, Fox, and McClellan. They put the pressure on. I thought they could have drawn a couple of penalties on the Flyers, but Hogarth let play continue, and then McClellan went for the opening and took the pass. Now the Kings are again, Flyer zone into Ruskowski, left wing corner. Ruskowski to J.P. Kelly. Kelly bumped by Bobby Clark, and the puck comes loose, and the Flyers come out. Dvorak sends it up to Barber. Barber at center ice. Barber still with it. Hope checked off his stick by Brian Engblom. Barber picks it up at center again. Now it's taken away by Engblom. Here's Engblom's pass on the left side to J.P. Kelly. Kelly drives it into the flyer zone. Puck is taken by Brad Marsh. 1-1 one, one tie for three. Left point. Wells steals it. Shooting, and it's just wide to the left. Puck taken by the Flyers again. Down the right side, held in by Kevin LaValle of the Kings. His pass taken away by Bobby Clark. Clark tries to give it to Bill Barber. Barber bumped by Engblom. Clark picks it up now in the Flyers zone. Here's Clark coming up the center ice. 12.55 left to go in the first period. 1-1 one, one tie. Clark's pass into the Kings zone. Intercepted by J.P. Kelly. Kelly gives it to Ruskowski. Ruskowski clears it up the center ice, but the Flyers take over. Now back on the left side to Doug Crossman, formerly with the Chicago Blackhawks. They got him in the trade for Ben Wilson. Crossman down the left side, in deep, centers it up the middle to Poulin, and he fanned on it as he tried to get it. Held in by Prop, into Poulin. Back to Prop, he shoots, blocked in front by Engblom. Taken by the Kings. Back they come to center ice, two on two. Kevin LaValle with Marcel Dion. LaValle down the left side, shoots, and a stick saved by Pelly Lindbergh on the long shot by LaValle. 12.20 to go. First period. Kings with a chorney. Holds it on the line. His pass intercepted by the Flyers. Back comes Crossman. Crossman gives it to Brian Prop. Prop across the line. Prop to the right side. Drops it back to Poulin. Back to Prop. Centering pass intercepted right in front of the King net by Chorney. Mark Chorney for the King. Centers it up to center ice on the left wing to Charlie Simmer. Here's Simmer now with Houston. Simmer across the line. Goes to the left side. Shot save made by the goaltender Pelly Lindbergh. Both teams getting some good shots now. 11.55 to go, first period, 1-1 one, one tie. Puck is at the King blue line, taken there by Poulin. He flips it into the King zone, picked up there by Chorney. Chorney's pass to Simmer, off his stick at the flyer line, and taken away by Brad McCrimmon. McCrimmon sends it across the red line. Hope checked away by Hardy and taken by the Kings, Charlie Simmer. Flyer goal by Rich Sutter. King goal by Brian McClellan. Kings with it. Dion with a long shot. Blocker save made. Rebound comes over to Simmer. Simmer tried to give it in front to Dion. Didn't get it. Flyers take it away and back comes Daryl Sittler. Sittler up the center. Once had 10 points in the game. An NHL record. 60 footer wide and off the glass. Rebound. Poked away by Hardy to Dion. And Dion clears it the length of the ice and we're going to get an icing call against the Kings. The game is tied at 1-1 one one and we'll be back in 30 seconds. This Allen scoring from Bernie Nichols after that line uh, tied up the Philadelphia defense around goaltender Kelly Lindbergh. Wes Jarvis wins the draw in the King zone. Kings break out now, moving left to right. Jarvis gives it on the right wing to Doug Smith. Here's Smith across the line. Smith shooting wide to the right side. He had a goal here in the Kings win last year on a nice wrist shot. Puck is held into the left point by Jay Wells. Throws it in deep. Cochran taken out by Smith. Flyers pick it up. 10.52 left to go in the first period. Game tied at one. Kings with it. Jarvis in the middle. He shoots. It's wide. Smith couldn't get to it. Actually, Jarvis was passing rather than shooting, and he was trying to get it to Doug Smith on the right side of the net. Smith was being checked, and the puck was lying just behind him, and he couldn't get to it. Flyers come back. Ron Sutter ahead to Daryl Sittler. Sittler shooting. Saved by Mike Blake. Sittler picks it up in the right wing corner. He gives it to Ron Sutter. Here's Ron Sutter's pass out to the blue line. Glenn Cochran. He shoots. Saved by Blake. A glove save, and he hangs on. 10.24 to go in the first period, and the game is tied at 1-1. One one. The game has gone back and forth as far as good opportunities on the goaltenders. Mike Blake being called upon to make a couple of good saves to get the whistle. Glenn Cochran let a drive go from the left point. Right before that, Sittler had a good opportunity. This game is coming to you from the Spectrum in Philadelphia. Kings hockey being brought to you by McDonald's, proud sponsors of the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles and by Great Western Savings with over 200 locations to serve you. Great Western, it's a new brand of banking. Up to center ice, Kings with it. Jimmy Fox across the line, sends it into the right wing corner, flyer zone. Overskated by Marsh, picked up by McClellan. Here's Brian McClellan for the Kings, right wing boards, flyer zone, sends it in on the right side to Fox. Fox passes over to Bernie Nichols. Nichols chases it in the left wing corner and gets taken out nicely by the referee Hogarth, and the puck is picked up by the Flyers. Here's Rick McLeish with it now. 
McLeish, as we said, asked Bob McCam and the Flyer coach for a tryout this year after he was released by Pittsburgh last year. And they said, yeah, lose 10 pounds and call us again. So McLeish and Barber and Clark went on quite a strenuous exercise program this summer. And McLeish is tied for the team scoring lead coming in. Puck is back in the King zone, taken by Mark Hardy. Hardy with it with 9.23 to go in the first period. Now it comes up to Bernie Nichols. Here's Nichols stepping across the line. He shoots and a save off the blocker by Billy Lindbergh. And the Flyers ice the puck as it's driven the length of the ice. And it'll be touched by Mark Hardy. And we have icing against the Philadelphia Flyers. And we'll have a faceoff coming up. Again, a reminder that this game is coming to you from the Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Kings Hockey is being brought to you by Mark C. Bloom. You know you can't choose the right tire if you don't have a choice. Mark C. Bloom. And by BASF. Switch to BASF Chrome Audio and Videotape for the best recordings you'll ever make. We mentioned the Kings uh, doing quite a bit of uh, practicing the last couple of days. Drills. Trying to get everybody mentally into playing the man and not the puck. Another drill they've been doing. And the attacking zones is moving without the puck. And this line uh, of uh, Nichols was doing that very well. And that's why they uh, picked up that first goal. Raskowski's line, of course, looking for a lot of points, uh, Bob. Off to a slow start from that standpoint. But uh, they're getting good chances. Got a penalty here as Terry Raskowski got knocked down. And we'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Faceoff will be just inside the flyer uh, blue line. And Mc Bobby Clark will take the draw against the Kings, Bernie Nichols. Ilka Sinasalo getting the penalty at 10.56, and the Kings will get the game's first power play. Nichols out with McClellan and Fox up front. Dion playing the right point. Hardy at the left point. Game tied 1-1. Kings with a chance to take the lead for the first time. But the Flyers have it. And Brad McCrimmon drives at the length of the ice. And it's right on target. Stop made by Mike Blake. He gives it to Dion. Dion's pass up to center ice. Bernie Nichols with it. Taken away by Mark Howe. And Howe sends it back to McCrimmon. Back in the Flyer zone. He finds an opening and sends it all the way back behind the King net. Flyers using Mark Howe up front to kill penalties. They started doing that midway through last year, and their penalty killing really improved. They're ninth in the league in penalty killing. Here's Fox sending it up the middle to Hardy. He shoots. Save made by Pelly Lindbergh, and the rebound right up the middle to Bobby Clark. Here's Bobby Clark with it now. He comes across the red line, takes his time, goes back across the line, still has it. Now Clark's pass over to Howe. Howe cutting in, looking for a shorthander. He's tripped, and a penalty against the Kings, Jimmy Fox. The Kings got caught and almost gave up a shorthander, and Fox had to take the penalty. Howe walked right down the left side after Bobby Clark, the veteran, just held on to the puck till he found somebody to give it to. It was Howe, and as he walked in, Jimmy Fox had no other choice. He reached out and tripped Mark Howe. The key right there was that Bobby Clark, the veteran, drew two Kings over to him on the right side of the ice, and then Clark flipped it onto his left. Howe was in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Jimmy Fox, a forward. So Jimmy really, as you say, Bob, had no choice but to hold down Howe. He actually didn't get as much of him as I thought at first on the uh, television replay on our simulcast. Jimmy just did get his stick out there, but uh, almost looked like it wasn't enough to trip him, although Howe went down. And each team is short a man now for a minute 15. Then the Flyers will have a 45-second power play. Game is tied 1-1. We have 8.19 to go in the first period. Bob Miller along with Nick Nixon. Face off to the right of Mike Blake, the King goaltender. Rick McLeish on the draw with Dion, and it comes off on the right side to the Kings. Brian Engblom, he flips it up to center ice, and the Flyers take over. Miroslav Dvorak out of Czechoslovakia gives it to Brad Marsh. Here's Marsh down the left side of the King line. He sends it in deep. It comes around into the right wing corner. Rick McLeish will pick it up there. McLeish passes back out to the right point to Dvorak. He shoots, and it's wide off the boards. Rebound taken by Marsh. Marsh holds it in. It comes into Engblom. He's bumped by Prop. Prop and Engblom go for it behind the King net. Prop kicks it loose. Picked up now by Kenny Houston. Houston gives it over to Dion. Dion, right wing corner, King zone. Can't clear it out. Dvorak at the left point. His pass over to Prop. Prop right side. Couldn't get a shot. Being checked by Engblom. Puck comes back to the right point to Dvorak. Here's Dvorak. He's got room. He shoots. It's blocked by Jay Wells. Picked up now by the Flyers, Rick McLeish. McLeish tried to give it to Prop behind the net. Taken away by Wells. Prop gets knocked down by Houston. Wells with it. He gives it over to Engblom. And it's taken away now by McLeish. McLeish's pass off the boards. Wells has it again. In 15 seconds, the Flyers will have the man advantage. Game tied 1-1. 
Here is Wells up the center. Wells passing over to Houston. Houston down the left side. He's checked there by Marsh. Puck cleared out the center by DeBorgia. Taken away by Wells. Wells knocked down from behind. Gets it to Dion. Left side. Fire zone. Dion stepping in front. Dion shooting and is blocked by Brad Marsh as he got back to poke it away. Back come the Flyers. Two on one. Only man back is Englom. Here's Sittler's pass blocked by Englom and he reached out and grabbed the puck. Now Sittler takes it. He is smashed into the board by Houston and here goes Houston and Sittler. Houston checks Sittler into the boards and it really rocked the glass and now Houston throws a left hand and now Houston gets knocked down on his back and Sittler falls on top of it. Englom made a nice play there. Then he reached out and pulled the puck into him but then it was poked loose. And that's when Houston checked Sittler into the board. Sittler getting a big ovation because he may or may not have landed a good punch on Houston. Houston may have lost his balance. We'll find out when we take a look at the replay. But anyway, I think, you know, Bob, Sittler may get an additional two for starting that altercation because after Houston belted him along the boards, it appeared to be a clean check. Sittler came off with a high stick or a high left elbow, and that's what really got Houston going. So we'll wait and see uh, what the call will be. Game tied one to one. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. And majors. Houston got the extra two for charging. Sittler the extra two for elbowing. Face off to the right of Mike Blake. Game tied one one. So the Flyers now with a five on four advantage here. They have 31 seconds left and that's on the penalty to Jim Fox. Anders Hawkinson will take the draw for the Kings to the right of Mike Blake. And still they don't drop the puck. Now they do as Kerr won the draw but the Kings take it away after the shot from the left side by Crossman and Hawkinson cleared it back into the flyer zone. Here's Doug Crossman back to get it now. Flyers moving right to left. Game time 1-1. One, one. Flyers have 15 seconds to go on the power play. Pass off on the right side. Bill Barber in the right wing corner. Stops there. Barber still with it. Right face off circle. Barber to the top of the slot. He gives it to Rick McLeish. McLeish to the left side. Five seconds to go on the power play. Into Mark Howe. Pass in front. Just shot wide by Tim Kerr. Kerr leads the Flyers in goals with seven. He was set up in front and shot it wide. Kings back at full strength. Here's Crossman left side. Crossman shoots. Saved by Blake. Rebound taken by the Kings. Back they come two on two to center. Gets West Jarvis. Jarvis with Fox. Jarvis from the blue line. Shooting wide to the right side. Puck taken to the right point. Held in by Brian Engblom. Engblom into Jarvis. Jarvis tried to give it in front to Fox. Intercepted by Barber. Barber clears it off the glass out the center. Engblom knocked it down, but Tim Kerr picks it up. Here's Kerr. 6'3", 225. Steps across the line, and Jay Wells picks him up there. Engblom clears it back to center. 5.45 to go in the first period. 1-1 one, one tie. Dvorak sends it all the way down into the King's zone. Picked up there by Jay Wells. He wraps it around the boards to McClellan. McClellan on the left side. He's got the King goal tonight. He tried to give it to Bernie Nichols. Broken up by Brad Marsh. Marsh throws it off the right wing board. And it's picked up in deep. And a save made. And now we've got Holmgren and Wells. Holmgren and Wells go down to the ice. And I think this was going to start as the play continued almost, and Blake made the save, and then it was Holmgren and Wells. Wells hit somebody else, I believe. Did he not? Did he hit Holmgren back behind the play? He hit Holmgren uh, with a good hip check just outside the Kings blue line. Holmgren took exception. Both players took swipes at the other with their sticks. Holmgren was the first to drop his gloves. Then Wells dropped his, and uh, they squared off quickly. Neither one of them really got at the other because the linesman separated them very quickly. 527 left to go. Looked like a good uh, hip check, as Nick said, by Jay Wells, and he knocked Holmgren flying. And then Holmgren got up, and the puck almost deflected off Brian Engblom into the net before Mike Blake fell on it, but I'm not sure at that point whether the whistle had blown or not because Wells and Holmgren were starting to square off. Got several Kings fans uh, here tonight. Want to say hi to people back in Los Angeles. Ali Van Houten is here, a field engineer from Los Angeles. Says hi to the tailgate gang. Stephanie says hi to the Rossi family out in Downey tonight. And uh, Denise Piper here tonight says uh, hello to Earl Metz, or Mertz, excuse me, in Los Angeles. And hi to the Kings Booster Club. This game with a score tied 1-1 is coming to you from the Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Kings Hockey is being brought to you by Toyota. See the SR5 4x4 sports truck at your Toyota dealer. And by Foot Locker. Foot Locker is America's most complete athletic footwear store. Another announcement.
assessing the penalties here now. Paul Holmgren is going to get five minutes for spearing and five for fighting. Wells will get two minutes for slashing and five for fighting. So Holmgren gets two majors, Wells just the one. And what this means is that in two minutes when Wells's minor expires, the Kings, barring further penalties, of course, will have a power play for three full minutes, and they'll get the three full minutes no matter how many goals they score. It also means that Paul Holmgren now has become the Flyers' all-time penalty minute leader. He has passed Andre DuPont with this penalty. He needed only three penalty minutes coming into the game tonight. He now has 1,510 penalty minutes. And that is the all-time penalty minute leader in Flyer history, Paul Holmgren. And going back to the early days of the 70s, he either had to be here a long time or be a pretty bad guy to set that record because they used to pile up the penalties back here when they had Dave the Hammer Schultz and the rest of the Broad Street Bullies. But well, Holmgren, Holmgren uh, just, uh, just a little uh, sidebar, the only American-born player, well, he was the first American-born player to get a hat trick in Stanley Cup competition play. 6'3", 210 pounds. Bobby's been plagued with a lot of injuries throughout his career, and uh, I know he sat out a couple of games earlier this year with a sore knee. And you've got to wonder if maybe Wells uh, didn't hit him on that bad leg. Faceoff will be to the left of Mike Blake, and it'll be out of the top of the faceoff circle in the King zone. Five-minute major penalty for spearing to Paul Holmgren. The King's Jay Wells has a two-minute minor to serve. They still have the door to the flyer penalty box open. Ray Allison is going over there to serve the penalty. Now we're ready on the draw. Clark against Bernie Nichols. Bobby Clark will be uh, Nick's guest and the end of this uh, first period. Flyers take it away. King zone. Pass to Clark. Left wing side. Clark shooting and off the glove. From a steep angle on the left wing, it went off the glove of Mike Blake. Back out to center. 5-12 to go. First period. 1-1 one, one tie. Pass at center ice, broken up by Brian Engblom. His pass taken away by the Flyers. Dvorak tipped away from him by the King Brian McClellan. And now Russ Anderson gives it to Brian Engblom. Engblom, oh, he gave it right away to Bobby Clark in the King zone. Now to Brad Marsh. Marsh with it. Down the right side. Checked by Engblom. It's given away. Here's Bernie Nichols with it. Nichols with one man. Dvorak getting back. Nichols comes to the flyer line. Nichols down the right side. Gets the shot way wide to the left. 4.44 left to go in the first period. 1-1 one, one tie. Flyers come back. Bobby Clark. Clark to the blue line, and he's offside. Bobby Clark has certainly had a great record here in Philadelphia. That's right. He leads all active players with 815 assists, and his fifth all-time in that category. He needs 10 assists to tie Alex Del Vecchio, 825, for fourth on the all-time NHL assist list. And he had three assists in three games against the Kings last year, and once again, he'll be our guest between periods one and two. Now, here's something that might surprise you. His 15 years with the Flyers is the longest playing streak ever of any Philadelphia athlete with one team here in Philadelphia. Face-off just outside the King blue line. A minute 11 left to go on that two-minute minor to Jay Wells. The game tied 1-1. And off the draw, Hawkinson draws it back into the King zone. Mark Hardy picks it up. Here's Hardy. He has trouble with it now. He's chased in deep by Ron Sutter. Puck comes over to Chorney. Chorney, checked by Ron Sutter, waits there, then gets away from Sutter and goes behind the net. Drop pass to Hardy for the Kings. Just taking their time getting out of their own end here. Now they do. Here's Chorney up to Sutter. Chorney to the flyer line. Passes on the wing. Nobody there. Sutter picks it up. Ron Sutter for the Philadelphia Flyers. In 42 seconds, the minor penalty to Wells will be expired. Puck comes up to center ice. Chased down by the Kings. Here's Mark Hardy with it now. Hardy's pass to the blue line. Nice pass to Wes Jarvis. He shoots and a save by Tilly Lindbergh. He didn't know where the rebound was, but it came over to Ron Sutter. He's bumped against the boards in the flyer zone. But the Flyers control it now. 23 seconds to go in the minor penalty to Wells. Hardy throws a check at center ice and knocks down Cochran. Puck taken by the Kings. Shorney's pass. Just on the reach of Jarvis at the flyer line. It comes in deep. We're going to get an icing call if the Flyers get to it. And they do. With 3.39 left to go in the first period. The game is tied at 1-1. One to one, And Jay Wells has 12 seconds now to serve in that two-minute minor. Well, in the pregame report, we mentioned how poorly the Kings have been playing on this road trip. This is the fourth of six games in the first period. Well, tonight... They're holding their own in the first period. They gave up that early goal to Rich Sutter at 107, his fourth of the year. But then they came back with a couple of good shifts in succession to 
start to get some of the momentum away, away from the Flyers. McClellan scored at 618, and for the most part, the, the clubs have gone up and down, trading good scoring opportunities on the respective goaltenders, Blake and Pelly Lindbergh. And uh, the, the Kings still, Bob, having problems around their own net. They seem to be a bit tentative still with uh, what to do with the puck. That minor penalty to Wells I'm referring to, of course, is the minor portion. He also got five for fighting. Now in four seconds, Kings will get that man out of the box. Up to center ice, here's Engblom. He gets it on the right side to McClellan. Kings now with the uh, man advantage on this uh, remaining portion of the major penalty against Holmgren. So the Kings send Dion out now. Dion picks it up. Kings can score as many times as possible now, and the Flyers will not get back at full strength. Pass to the Flyer line, broken up by Brad Marsh. He gives it to Barber, and Barber flips it into the Kings zone. A great chance here now, Nick, for the Kings to take control of this game. Power play coming around after a slow start. They're at 24.1%. Here's Dion across the line, tried to give it to Nichols, taken away by the Flyers. Back comes Dave Pullen. Pullen across the King line with Barber. Pullen left side, moving in. Dave, Barber shooting, deflected wide. Pullen walked right in and got a shot from the left side. Kings take it away. Back they come. Fox at the red line, gives it to McClellan. McClellan across the Flyer line, tipped away. Fox picks it up. He gives it to Dion. He's tripped. Penalty Flyers. Englund shooting save. Rebound in the middle. Dion with it. Dion shoot. Blocked by the Flyers. Up them back out the center. And the Kings would have a two-man advantage here, but they've still got control of the puck. That's a delayed penalty against the Flyers. Pass on the right side. Jarvis cutting in. Flyers off. Jarvis, he slashed that there, and they'll get away with that. Here's Jarvis with a pass in the middle. Broken up by Barber. And a penalty against the Flyers, and the Kings are going to have a two-man advantage now for a minute 48. The penalty at 17.45, and the Kings will have a two-man advantage as time winds down in the first period. Marcel Dion carrying the puck over the blue line to get the power play set up. Just had his skates yanked out from under him. And going to the penalty box is Billy Barber, two minutes for tripping. So the Kings with a great opportunity to grab uh, their first lead. Boy, Dave Pullen, he walked right in looking for a shorthanded goal just moments ago in the Kings zone, and Mike Blake came out to meet him. So while the game is tied 1-1, the Kings now with a great opportunity to take the lead. They have a two-man advantage for a minute 48. And, of course, they can, uh, even if they score, they'll still have the power play on because uh, the minute 48 is what's left in the major penalty to Paul Holmgren. Now we have... Uh, the Flyers Bobby Clark going over. He might be asking Ron Hogarth uh, which penalty expires first if the Kings do score a goal. Well, the Kings are uh, changing goaltender. I was wondering what was going on and forgot to look. Mario Lassard coming in. So Don Perry now, the Kings coach, going back to that ploy he used frequently uh, last year to uh, send a new goaltender in and give his power play unit a breather to uh, continue Bernie Nichols ready on the faceoff in the flyer zone against Bobby Clark. Nichols, Fox McClellan up front, Kings win the draw. Here's Dion. He gives it over to Hardy. Hardy at the left side. Flyers home, back to the right point to Dion. Back to Hardy. Hardy in the slot. In it goes over to McClellan on the right side. He fanned on it. Picked up by Jimmy Fox. Out to Dion. Right side. Up the middle of Hardy. Hardy with it. Kings in the power play. Back to Dion. Dion fakes a shot. Gives it to Fox. Fox up to Hardy. Hardy still with it. Cut off on the left side. Top of the slot now. Hardy waits. Now he shoots wide to the left side. Rebound over to Fox. Right wing side. Fox with it there. Brad Marsh slashes at him out to the right point, taken by Dion. Kings with a two-man advantage for a minute 15. Here's Fox with it. Fox on the right side. Fox still with it. Fox up the middle to Hardy. Hardy waits. Now he shoots. Save. Rebound McClellan shoots. Save. Fox with it. Score! Jimmy Fox on the rebound. McClellan got a shot, but Jimmy Fox scooped it up on the right side and put it in. And the Kings lead for the first time tonight at 2-1 to one as Jimmy Fox got the rebound of Brian McClellan's shot. It just came off to the right side to Fox, and he went upstairs with it under the crossbar at 18-28. So McClellan will get an assist. As Jimmy Fox gives the Kings a 2-1 lead. Fox is eighth. Hardy also with an assist. And a point in 10 straight games now for Jimmy Fox. Now the Kings still with a power play. 50 or now 47 seconds left to go in the major penalty to Holmgren. Kings can still score as much as possible. 
and uh, the Flyers will not get back at full strength. Here comes Dion to center. Here's Dion to the flyer line. Dion, left side, still with it. Dion, his pass in deep, and now uh, save made by Pelly Lindbergh as Bernie Nichols tried to tip it in. 32 seconds left to go in the spearing major to Paul Holmgren, and uh, the Kings lead a 2-1 to one with 59 seconds left to go in the first period. As we said, Nick making his way downstairs here, and it's about a three-story trip down there. And he'll be talking live with Bobby Clark, the captain of the Flyers, at the end of this period. Saturday night, the Kings of Ian Hartford will be live on radio at 420. And this Sunday, back on radio and television in Boston against the Bruins at 10 minutes to 4, live from the Boston Garden. Flyers drive it back behind the King net. Jimmy Fox's goal is eighth of the season, has given the Kings a 2-1 to one lead. We're in the first period. King's still on the power play. Here is Dion with it. He gives it to Jim Fox. Fox passing up to center ice. Chased by Bernie Nichols. Tipped away and cleared back to the red line. Fox with it again. Tried to give it to Brian McClellan. Here's McClellan at the red line with eight seconds to go in the power play. 33 seconds to go in the period. McClellan down the right side. Poked off his stick. Brad McCrimmon with it for the Flyers. He clears it out the center. And the Flyers are finally back at full strength. Kings ahead 2-1. to one. 23 seconds left to go in the first period. Flyers change on the fly. So Don Perry's ploy of giving his power play a rest paid off as the Kings scored a goal on it. Jimmy Fox putting the rebound of a Brian McClellan shot up underneath the crossbar from the right wing. Here's Doug Smith with it in the flyer zone. Taken away by Bill Barber. Barber's pass. Off the boards, out the center ice. Five seconds to go in the first period. Now two seconds. Kings are going to lead it. Here's the end of the first period with the Kings leading the Philadelphia Flyers 2-1. to one. Unofficially, the Kings outshot the Flyers after a slow start. The unofficial shots on goal. The Kings with 16 in the first period and the Flyers with 11. We'll be back. So did Wes Jarvis of the Kings and two shots for Mark Hardy and Brian McClellan. The leader in shots individually for the Flyers was Dave Poulin. He had three. Puck fired into the Kings zone and Mike Blake back behind the net stops it there. And Russ Anderson pokes it up on the right side. Kings moving out now. Here's Fox giving it to Nichols. Nichols of the red line. Kings lead it 2-1. Both teams are at full strength to start this second period. Cochran drives it around the right point. And it was held in for a moment there, but then poked away from Engblom. Picked up now by Bobby Clark down the right side. King zone drops it back to Howe. Shooting saved by Blake. A glove save. He drops it down. Clark right behind him. Hooked him around the arm. Nothing called. Puck comes up on the right wing to Jimmy Fox. Fox into the flyer zone, but he tried to give it all the way across the rink to Bernie Nichols. And Mark Howe intercepts. Howe sends it up to center. Here's Ilka Sinasalo stepping across the King line. Left wing pass to Kerr. Poked away from behind him. Now Kerr gets a backhander high and wide. Out to the right point. Dvorak with it. Here's Dvorak. Shooting. Tip saved by Blake. As Ilka Sinasalo deflected it. And Blake made the save. And he hangs on for the faceoff. Another good save by young Mike Blake. Getting a great opportunity to prove that he can play not only in the NHL, but stay in the NHL. Of course, he was up for a couple of games last year. Big key right there. He not only made the save, but controlled the rebound. A couple of flyers right in front looking to pounce on that rebound. But Blake has done that very well, not only tonight, but throughout the season. And that's control the puck once he makes the initial save. Nephew of the great Toe Blake, Hector Toe Blake, former great coach of Montreal. And uh, Mike Blake is his nephew. Flyers win the draw. Right point, McLeish shooting. Blocked by Charlie Simmer. Simmer pokes it out the center. I think he got uh, shaken up a little bit when he blocked the shot. He stays out, but he wasn't moving to... Uh, too well. Flyers drive it back into the King zone. Mark Chorney with it. His pass off the board. Held in by Dvorak. Left side shot. Saved by Blake. Rebound. Pass up the middle. And it went behind the Flyers' Tim Kerr. Now McLeish with a drive and a glove saved by Blake. Oh, the Flyers came close to tying it up there, Nick. Excellent opportunities by the Philadelphia Flyers. The puck bouncing their way in that sequence. And finally, Blake again stopped play by controlling the puck making the save from high in the slot on Rick McLeish. We mentioned Rick McLeish traded away two years ago by the Flyers, reacquired as a free agent in the offseason. He had 50 goals in 72-73, and in the two years the Flyers won the Stanley Cup, he led them in scoring in each two, or each of those seasons. It's McLeish with a shot save. Rebound McLeish in the slot. Goes to the left side. McLeish still with it. Pass up the middle. Stopped by Dvorak. Dvorak along the right wing boards. He's checked there. Gets it to Rick McLeish. Back to Dvorak. we got a penalty against the Kings. Delayed penalty against the Kings coming up, and we are going to have holding. Called against the Kings. We'll be back in 30 seconds. The Kings lead it 2-1. to one. This is Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network.
Fox holding at 145. Flyers with their second power play. They've been struggling in the first month on the power play. Just eight power play goals and 50 chances, 16%. Ron Sutter on the face off in the King Zone with Wes Jarvis. Jarvis wins the draw to Brian Ingblom, and he sends it out the center off the stick of Howe. Picked up by Jarvis, but poked away from him, and Doug Crossman has it for the Flyers. Flyers with a power play now, trying to tie the score. Kings lead it 2-1. Here's Sittler passing down the right side to Bill Barber. Barber drives it in deep. Mike Blake passes back in the corner. Gave it right away to Barber. Out to the right point. Crossman with it. Back to Barber. Right side. Barber at the right point. Barber still with it. Now he shoots. It's deflected wide. Sittler picks it up off the board. Sittler in the right wing corner. He's checked there by Jay Wells. Ron Sutter tries to pick it up. Sutter against the right wing boards in the King zone. It comes loose and it is cleared by Anders Hawkinson of the Kings. Kings will change penalty killers now. Brian McClellan and Bernie Nichols jump out. Jay Wells and Brian Ingblom still back on defense. 114 to go on the penalty to Terry Ruskowski. Flyers with it. Sittler down the right wing. Sittler's pass in deep now. Howe centers it. Intercepted by Nichols, and he cleared it. Howe thought he had a trailer coming down the slot, but it went right to the stick of Bernie Nichols, who cleared it into the Flyers zone. 58 seconds left to go on the King penalty. Flyers with it. Moving left to right as you join us on radio and television on our simulcast. Here's Crossman over on the right side to Howe. Howe bumped there. Puck is picked up now on the right side. Flyers hold it in. Prop out to the right point. Gives it to Crossman. Crossman's pass left side. Rick McLeish in front to Howe. Howe with a shot. Save. Rebound in front. Picked up by McClellan. McClellan, his pass taken away by Rick McLeish. McLeish loses it to McClellan. King zone. Now Bobby Clark comes in. He loses it to Engblom. Engblom slaps it around the boards and out to the right point. Held in by Doug Crossman for the Flyers. In behind the net, tried to give it to Clark. Tipped away. Prop with it. Right wing side. Back to Crossman. Right point. Crossman to the left side now. To Marsh. Shooting. Deflected over the net and caught as it came off the glass behind the net by goaltender Mike Blake. The Kings seem to me so far to be a little tentative now when they get the puck in their own zone. Nick, they're just, Blake gave it away once. I think McClellan had it go off his stick right to one of the Flyers. And the Flyers held it in and were getting some shots. A lot of coaches would tell you in that situation when you're a man down, no matter where you are, you get the puck and you get room. Shoot it down as hard as you can. Don't try to be too fancy. Mark Howe gets a lot of ice time on specialty teams for the Flyers. We mentioned when they were killing a penalty in the first period. He plays up front. He's such a good skater. Good anticipation. He plays the point on the power play. He's got that great wrist shot. Kings have been outshot 6-0 here at the start of the second period. 16 seconds to go on the penalty to Terry Ruskowski. Face off in the King zone. Flyers, Sittler wins the draw. Flyers with it now. Cochran at the blue line. King zone gives it at the right point to Mark Howe. Shooting, deflected by the stick of Russ Anderson on the way in. Anderson for the Kings. He clears it on his backhand all the way back into the Flyers zone. And Terry Ruskowski steps out of the penalty box, and the Kings have killed the penalty. They're back at full strength. Kings lead it 2-1. to one. Second period. 16-09 to go in the period. Up to center ice. Pass taken away by Kenny Houston for the Kings. His pass picked up now by Cochran. He brings it across the King line. Simmer intercepts. Simmer to Hardy. Up in the right wing to Houston. Now back to Simmer. Over skates it at center ice. Flyers with it. Pass to the King line by Sittler. Taken away by the Kings. Mark Hardy. Hardy gives it to Russ Anderson. His pass up to center ice to Houston. Houston comes to the red line now. Here's Houston with Dion and Simmer. Houston across the line to Dion. Left side. Backhander. Glove save by Pelly Lindbergh. And he hangs on to it and draws the whistle. With 15.42 left to go here in the second period, the Kings ahead 2-1. to one. Kenny Houston, good addition to this Kings team. That's right. He's a veteran performer. He's been around for a while, so he knows what to do when he's got the puck, what to do when he doesn't have the puck. And that's why he's fit in so well with two other veterans on that line with Marcel Dion and Charlie Simmer. Watch uh, that line or the Bernie Nichols line, any line that's been productive, watch what forwards do when they don't have the puck. They'll go to those openings, and a lot of the times that's when you get your goals because your other line mates who have the puck can get it to you in the open. Kelly Lindbergh in goal. He missed 13 games last year for the Flyers when he broke a wrist against uh, the Russians in an exhibition game on January 6th. Kings with it. Simmer gives it to Dion. Flyer zone. His shot. Stick saved by Lindbergh. Rebound. Simmer behind the net to Houston. Houston tried to pull it in front. It's poked away by the Flyers. Doug Crossman. Crossman, number three for the Flyers. Played with the Blackhawks last year. He gives it away. Right side. Dion moving in. In front. Tried to give it to Houston. Tipped up the middle. Taken there by Engblom. His shot. Blocked in front. Dion with it to Houston. He shoots. Saved by Lindbergh. And he falls on it. Right in the crease. Puck was bouncing around uh, like a pinball right down there in front of the Flyer net. 
shot from the point through a maze of legs and it finally came onto the stick of Charlie Simmer. Simmer left it for Marcel Dion. He overskated and they think Ken Houston came in to look for a rebound with Pelly Lindbergh who may have lost sight of it uh, from the beginning. That original shot finally covered up as he was just lying flat on his back. You know we often refer to a lot about the United States gold medal victory at the Olympics in Lake Placid. Pelly Lindbergh was playing for the Swedish Olympic team there and he led them to the bronze medal at Lake Placid in 1980. Face off to the right of the Swedish goaltender in the flyer zone. And on the draw, the puck comes loose and picked up now by Brad or by uh, Dvorak, the Czechoslovakian defenseman. He clears it up the center, taken away by the King. Dion tried to give it in the flyer zone to Houston. Houston and Brad Marsh down the right side. Puck comes back behind the flyer net. Bobby Clark with it. He gives it to Wilka Sinisalo. Here's Sinisalo with it. He's out of Sweden also. He's chased behind the flyer net by Simmer. Down the corner, Houston intercepts. Centers it in front. Poked away to the blue line. Held in by the King. Shot dribbled in there by Engblom and taken away way by the Flyers. Cleared up to Brian Propp at center ice. Propp sends it up into the crowd and uh, we will have a face off with 14.46 to go in the second period and the Kings ahead of the Flyers 2-1. to one. This game is coming to you from the Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Kings hockey is being brought to you by Inglenook, California's premium wine. Discover award-winning taste. Un Days to spend more. And by Adidas Athletic Wear, which makes you look great and feel even better. So get into gear with Adidas. And brought to you by Mark C. Bloom. You can't choose the right tire if you don't have a choice. Play underway again. Puck comes to the flyer line. Glenn Cochran back to get it. Cochran in his own zone. Tried to send it up to Rick McLeish on the right side. McLeish tries to bat it around J.P. Kelly, and he does down into the King zone. Back to get it, Russ Anderson. Anderson behind the King net. Goes into the corner. He's checked there by Ray Allison. Puck is fallen on and is still loose now in the King zone. Picked up and brought right in front of the King net and finally slides over to Kelly. Kelly clears it ahead on the left side of Ruskowski. Here's Ruskowski to center ice with Kevin Lavalley. Lavalley spreads out wide on the right side. Now Lavalley with a shot from the slot deflected up into the crowd on a pass from Ruskowski. I think his shot as he and Ruskowski, Lavalley and Ruskowski were crisscrossing, hit Ruskowski and went into the crowd. Ruskowski and Allison down on their knees in the faceoff circle and Ruskowski still not up. He may be injured on the play and King trainer Peter Demers comes out onto the ice to tend to Terry Ruskowski. Now Roscoe is up on his skates and uh, Peter Demers still out there tending to him. The shot was by Kevin Lavalley and it was deflected up into the crowd. Now they're coming off the ice led by King trainer Peter Demers and while we have a chance and Peter is uh, leading Ruskowski off the ice. We'll break for 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. It takes... We have 14 minutes to go in the second period. Flyers moving left to right, and here's Brian Propp. Prop up to center. He's tied for the team scoring lead coming into the game tonight. Gives it on the right side. Cutting in deep, Brad McCrimmon. McCrimmon, right wing corner, King zone. Checked by Bernie Nichols. Puck comes back over now on the right side. And Nichols steps in there to try and pick it up. Prop gets knocked down from behind. Move puck rolls out in front. And the Kings try to clear it, and they do. Bernie Nichols up to center. Here's Nichols to the flyer line. Here's Nichols across the line. Tried to give it to McClellan. Taken away by Doug Crossman. Back come the Flyers. Kings lead it 2-1. Crossman sends it down into the King zone. Chased in deep and picked up by Jimmy Fox. Fox checked in the corner. Puck is dug out by Dave Poulin. Sends it behind the net. Over on the right side to Holmgren. Holmgren's pass. Flyers in the King zone now. It's sent in deep by Prop. Prop gives it behind the net. Pass out in front of Prop. Didn't get it. It comes toward McCrimmon and intercepted by the Kings. Nichols to McClellan. McClellan to the flyer line. Rolls it across the line. Now pushes it in deep. McCrimmon goes for it. He's checked by McClellan. Puck is picked up by Nichols. Left side. Nichols in the slot. Shooting save by Lindbergh. Oh, what a great move by Bernie Nichols. And he got a quick wrist shot, Nick. And Lindbergh made the save. Shot from the right point by the Kings is wide to the right. And the puck comes left point. Shot by Wells. Save. The first shot was by Engloff. Then Wells shot it wide. Now the Nichols gets pushed into the crossbar. Nothing called. And the Flyers come out. Boy, Lindbergh made that save on Nichols and uh, wasn't sure where the puck was afterward. Here's Brian Prop for the Flyers. Sends it in the King zone. Jay Wells in the corner. Sends it along the right side board. Held in by the Flyers. Pass in front. Broken up by the Kings Engblom. Now to center. Kevin Lavalley sends it down into the flyer zone. Puck comes along the board. Doug Smith chases it in deep. Taken away by Brad Mark. Now up to center. Flyers with it. Down the left side. Into the King zone. Centering pass is broken up as it came off a skate. And is picked up by the Kings. Doug Smith. Here's Smith. Comes to the flyer line. Sends it in deep. Chases it in deep behind the net. But it's intercepted there by Brad Marsh. Marsh clears it off the boards. Out to center ice. And Brian Engblom back to cover up. 
Kings ahead 2-1. to one. We have 11.55 to go in the second period. Pass on the right side, broken up by Brad Marsh. Here's Marsh for the Flyers. Fans want the Flyers to get something started. Long pass into the King zone, just out of the reach there of Rich Sutter. Puck is taken by the Kings. Kelly gets it to LaValle. LaValle across the line, shooting wide to the left side. Kings now with Smith at center and Kelly and LaValle on the wings. Now they're changing. Puck is in the flyer zone, right wing corner. Smith, he's checked there by Brad Marsh. Kelly comes over. Kelly digs it out. Kelly fires on up the middle. Houston saved by Al Lindbergh. Oh, what a save. Houston had it right in front of the net, about eight feet away, and Kelly Lindbergh made a tremendous save. And he covers up for the faceoff, and Doug Smith is upset. He's upset at Marsh and also the referee, Ron Hogarth. Marsh was holding on to Smith in the corner to the left of Lindbergh for uh, a very long period of time. Finally, the puck came in front and a bang-bang shot on Lindbergh off the stick of Kenny Houston. Terry Ruskowski is on the bench. He was a couple of minutes ago. He may have gone to the dressing room, Bob. I don't see him down there right now. Face off to the left of Pelly Lindbergh. Kings ahead 2-1. And on the draw, the Flyers control it. Here's Mark Howe. Howe almost had his career ended when he was playing at Hartford a few years ago. He slid right into that metal piece at the bottom of the net. Sinisalo on the right side. Over on the left wing to Clark. His shot blocked. Picked up by Barber. Here's Barber. Left wing King zone. He's checked by Dion. Barber walking in front. He shoots. Save made. Penalty coming up against the King. Tripping penalty. I think they got Dion for tripping Barber. 11.01 to go in the second period. The Kings lead it 2-1, to one, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. With all these advantage, Terry Ruskowski is back on the Kings bench, so we'll see if he returns. He was hurt about four minutes ago. Bobby Clark kicked out of the faceoff spot to the left of Mike Blake. The King goaltender Bill Barber comes in, and the draw won by Wes Jarvis. Now it comes in deep. Flyers are going to control it, though, in the King zone. Here's Brian Kopp on the left side. He sends it in to Clark. Bobby Clark, left wing corner, King zone. Kings ahead 2-1. Flyers with a man advantage, trying to tie it up at the right point. Here's Crossman. Crossman sending it to Mark Howe. Howe's pass broken up and clear. Nice play by Wes Jarvis. Again, good pressure by Jarvis and Hawkinson up front as they start the penalty-killing situation. They'll go for about 40, 50 seconds as hard as they can and then come off. Engblom, number five, and Wells, number 24, back in defense for the Kings. Here's Mark Howe to Bill Barber, right point, King zone. Barber, Barber's pass in deep. is picked up by Prop backhander, saved by Blake. Loose puck cleared by the Kings. I think Jay Wells just did get a stick on it to clear it out. The rebound almost was deflected in off Jay Wells' leg behind Blake. Fires with it again, moving left to right. Clark tried to give it to Prop. He didn't get it. It's going to be icing if the Kings get to it, and Jay Wells will. And we have an icing call against the Flyers with a minute four left to go in the penalty to Marcel Dion. And the Kings lead it two to one. Billy Barber with a shot from the right point. Hit a leg in front. The rebound came to the side of Mike Blake. A backhander, save up high, and then the Kings took care of the rest and relieved the pressure. Mike Blake in goal for the Kings. They substituted Mario Lassard for just a few moments in that first period to give the power play a rest, and it paid off as the Kings scored a power play goal, Jimmy Fox, and that gave the Kings a 2-1 to -one lead. It's still 2-1 Kings. One minute left to go on the King penalty to Dion. Flyers with it. Here's Doug Crossman as he starts out of his own zone. He gives it to Rick McLeish. Here's McLeish. Spent 11 years here with the Flyers before he left, and then asked for a tryout, came back and made the team, and he is tied for the point total lead on the team. Kings take it away. Nickel shooting from the blue line to the Flyers. And a save made by Pelly Lindbergh. Puck goes into the right wing corner. Nichols digs it out. Pass left side. Kings with a shot save. Rebound. Shot score by Brian McClellan. He got the rebound of a shot by Mark Hardy. And a shorthanded goal for the Kings. Brian McClellan puts the Kings ahead 3-1 with his second goal of the night. Hardy fired from the right point after a pass from Nichols. Kelly Lindbergh with a save, but Brian McClellan put it up over the fallen goaltender, and the Kings lead 3-1. to one. Right there, the Kings beat the Flyers at what used to be their own game. They won the battle along the boards in the corner to Lindbergh's left. Nichols worked it free out front, dropped it back on the point. The shot, save, rebound put in by McClellan. He showed a lot of poise right there. The youngster now with three points in the game. Hardy and Nichols should get the assist at 10-21. Short-handed goal for the Kings. Puck is picked up now by the Flyers. They still have the power play for another 24 seconds. Here's Holmgren on the right side. Holmgren shot, save made by Blake. 
Rebound, right wing corner. Flyers still hold it in. Out to the right point to Dvojak. His pass tipped into the right wing corner by Prop. Chased into the corner now and dug out by Prop. He goes behind the king net. Checked by Hardy. Seven seconds ago on the power play. Here's Brian Prop. Left point to Brad Marsh. Marsh is passed to Holmgren. The Prop. He shoots. Saved by Blake. Rebound. Comes off to the right side. Hawkinson with it. Up to center ice. Kings now with a three on two. Dion steps out of the penalty box. Jarvis gives it to Dion. Flyer zone. Dion to Jarvis in front. He waits. Couldn't get a shot. Now a shot save made by Brad Marsh, the defenseman, as he beat Hawkinson. Brad Marsh, the defenseman, moved in when the goaltender was out of position after making one save, and then Marsh made a save on Hawkinson. Dion holds it in. His pass taken away by Brad Marsh. The Kings almost had another one there. 3-1 Kings lead. Long pass into the Kings zone. Going to be icing against the Flyers as uh, Wells goes back to touch it with 8.29 to go. Brad Marsh playing goaltender. And what a great save he made as he beat Anders Hawkinson. Tell you, Brad Marsh is one of the best shot blockers you'll see among defensemen in the National Hockey League. Jarvis was set up, put his move on Lindbergh, was in too deep, dropped it right in front, and Hawkinson had he thought the whole net to shoot at. Well, no goaltender was there, but big Brad Marsh was. Marsh, 6'2", 215 pounds. I can remember a couple of games last year at the Forum when he was in with the Flyers. He blocked about eight or ten shots in each of those two games. 3-1 Kings. Two goals by Brian McClellan, one by Jimmy Fox. At the right point, in the Flyers' own, Engblom sends it in deep behind the net to Simmer. Simmer checked there. Simmer with Dion and Houston. Houston picks it up. Houston tried to roll it to Dion. Dion with it. Flyers' own. Left wing board. Dion still has it. Comes toward the blue line. Dion passing into Houston. Simmer's in front of the net, but they couldn't get it to him. They forgot about Simmer. He was standing on the right side of the net, but the Kings couldn't get it to him. Now the Flyers with it. Up to center ice, they come to the red line. Chased by Howe. Tipped away by Wells. Picked up now by the centers. Here they come. Pass in front. Almost tipped in by Jay Wells. He tried to break up the pass by Ron Sutter. And, or was it Engblom? Almost tipped it in. Engblom. Here's Zion with it. His shot blocked. Rebound. Flyers pick it up. Back they come. Three on two. Wells and Engblom are back. On the left side. Sittler shoots. He scores! Two break for the Philadelphia Flyers. Englom left the shooter who was going wide. Sittler takes the shot. He gave him the room because he thought that Blake, if he cut down the angle, would give Little Net to shoot at. He probably did, but Sittler, who knows how to score, there's no doubt about it, beat Blake in the low right corner, and the Flyers are to within one. So the former Toronto great, who is the all-time Maple Leaf goal scorer, gets the goal at 12-19, third goal of the season. Mark Howe will get an assist. 3-2, Kings. The shorthanded Kings goal at 10-21. McClellan's fifth from Hardy and Nichols. Third shorthanded goal for the Kings this year. Nichols' line has been out for all three. 7.30 left to go in the second period. Kings are at full strength. Here is uh, Doug Smith with it now. He gets tipped by Clark. Russ Anderson passing off to the right side. Daryl Sittler with a blast from the left wing. And he beat Mike, Mike Blake cleanly. Here's LaValle with a drive and a glove save by Pelly Lindbergh. Kevin LaValle can fire the puck for the Kings, and he did that time, and Pelly Lindbergh just did get his glove up to make the save. Back from the Flyers. Clark gives it at center ice to Barber. Here's Barber across the line. And pass. Barber got tripped coming down the middle. Penalty coming up against the Kings. Tripping penalty against the Kings as Bill Barber got hauled down by Russ Anderson. And the Flyers will have a chance to tie it up. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Way back in the box for a tripping Bill Barber. Barber gave the pass off on the left, headed for the net. He had a half a step on Anderson, and Anderson hauled him down from behind. So the Kings will try and kill off their fourth disadvantage. The Flyers still looking for their first power play goal tonight. Face off to the left of Blake. Wes Jarvis wins the draw to Wells. Wells trying to clear it, and he does. Wes Jarvis has done a nice job tonight on faceoffs in the King zone. Back behind the flyer net. Crossman passing up on the right side to Barber. Flyers with a chance to tie it up. Kings lead it 3-2. 6.44 to go. Second period. Here's Ray Allison down the right wing. Allison passing over to McLeish. Tipped away by Engblom for a moment. McLeish controls it now. Left wing boards. His pass. Left point. Picked up there by Crossman. Crossman sends it in deep. Engblom with it. Slaps it around on the left side to Jarvis. And he clears it back to the center ice area where it's picked up now by Crossman. He's chased into the flyer zone by Anders Hawkinson. 
Pass up to the flyer line. Ray Allison with it. He comes down the left side into the King zone. He's got Kerr, their leading goal scorer. Indeed, Allison drops it back on the left side to Rick McLeish. Here's McLeish, left wing boards. He passes in deep. Now in front to Kerr, just out of his reach. Comes out to Barber at the right point. Barber shooting, safe. Rebound in front. Loose puck score by the flyer. Tim Kerr, it looks like, right in front of the net, got his stick on it. Blake made the first save, bouncing puck. Tim Kerr with a backhander with his back to the net, put it in. And the Flyers, on a power play goal, have tied the game at 3-3. Three to three. Well, Kerr's got the size, no doubt about that. And if he's going to be used on the power play, he should stand in front of the opponent's goal. He'll get a lot of deflections. He'll hold his own because of his size at 6'3", 225. And he gets the goal right there, his eighth of the season at 13.58. A power play goal. 21, Rick McLeish. McLeish with an assist. Bill Barber. And Bill Barber. Five, 13 minutes, 58 seconds. Now the loose puck in the King zone. Flyers hold it in again. In behind the net to Prop. Prop waits there. Comes around the right side. Prop still with it. Sends it behind the net to Holmgren. Holmgren bumped there. The puck comes loose. Prop will hold it in. Prop out to the right point to Howell, but he couldn't hold it in. It comes back to center ice. Kerr with a backhander had his back to the net and still got the shot off and put it in the corner. Here's how to Holmgren, left side, he shoots, blocked by the Kings on the way in. As it was blocked by Choi, now pass up the middle, the prop broken up by the Kings. Hardy sends it up the right side to Jimmy Fox. Here's Fox across the flyer line with Nichols. Fox drops it there, then picks it up himself as everybody overskated it. Gives it to Simmer, down the middle, his shot blocked and controlled by Mark Howe. He sends it up to center ice. Off the stick of Dave Poulin, taken away by the Kings. Engblom passing to, ha to uh, Fox. Now on the right side to Simmer. Simmer across the line. Double team, still controls it. Simmer down the right side. Simmer in the flyer zone, right wing corner. Sends it behind the net to Nichols. Nichols, left wing side. Nichols still with it now. Along the boards, passing right side, intercepted by the Flyers. It was knocked down by Poulin. Now cleared up the center by Prop. Picked up now by the Flyers. Sutter shooting at the goal post. Rich Sutter hit the goal post on a long shot in the King zone, and the game is still tied at three. Mike Blake says, hey, just part of the equipment. Puck comes against the left wing boards. Houston in there for the King. Flyers try to dig it out. It comes to the blue line. Hardy holds it in. Hardy, check there. Nice play. Hardy in the middle. Hardy now can't get around Sittler and Marsh, and Sittler takes over. His pass, right point. Engblom stops it there, leaves it for Dion. Right point, Flyers zone. Dion's pass intercepted by the center. Here's Rich Sutter. He gets it to his twin brother, Ron. Now on the left side. Here's Ron Sutter into the King zone. He is checked there by Brian Engblom and the loose puck taken by Ken Houston. Houston goes right in front of Mike Blake. 3.55 to go. Second period. 3-3. Three, three. Here's Houston for the Kings. Houston down the left side trying to get around to Borja. Houston backhands it out in front of the net, and Brad Marsh knocks it against the right wing board. J.P. Kelly throws a check there, and we have the puck knocked out of the air with a high stick, and the whistle blows. 3.46 to go here in the second period. It's all tied 3-3. Three three. This game is coming to you from the Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Kings Hockey being brought to you by Republic Airlines, now serving more of America than any other airline. Nobody serves our Republic like Republic Airlines. And brought to you by Mark C. Bloom. You can't choose the right tire if you don't have a choice. Mark C. Bloom. Flyers spurred by that power play goal to tie after they were down 3-1 earlier in the period, starting to skate a bit uh, harder than they were earlier in the period where the Kings really dominated for uh, much of the first 10-12 minutes. 3-3 tie, face off in the flyer zone, comes out to center ice, chased down by the Kings, Russ Anderson, his pass back into the flyer zone, it'll be delayed offside if the Kings control it, they do not. Back come the flyer, Sinisalo down the right side, just couldn't get around Russ Anderson. Anderson to Ruskowski, he gives it up to Kevin Lavalley. Lavalley's got the hard slap shot, comes across the blue line, pulls it in, Dave Lavalley moving in, he shoots and he just missed the right hand corner. Out to the right point, Chorney holds it in. Chorney's pass, the flex off the boards, Ruskowski with it. Ruskowski, he's checked by Clark, they spin each other around, and the Flyers, Doug Crossman, brings it to center. Here's Crossman to the King line, to Sinisalo, and now in deep, Barber, shooting, score! and put it up under the crossbar over Blake's shoulder and the Flyers have a 4-3 lead. Two Kings bumped into each other. Got a little mixed up in front of the King net. 
Bill Barber just popped himself open as he got by the one defenseman on the near side, Russ Anderson. Mark Chorney, who he was paired out with, tried to cut across, and he actually did force Barber wide, but he stuck the backhander in. Sinisalo with an assist. And Doug Crossman. Here's McLeish again in the slot. King Zone, he shoots. Saved by Blake off his stick. Puck held in by the flyer. Back behind the King net. Pass out in front. Save again by Blake as he beat Kerr. Oh, the Flyers now just skating around the King's net at will. Nick, nobody picking them up. Well, that's been the problem that the Kings have had to encounter not only this year, but also most of last year. They give up one goal. They're still in the game. They still had a lead. They gave up yet another goal. It was tied, but they're still in the hockey game. And then the club just lets down, and they give up goals in bunches. We've seen that here towards the end of the second period. Sittler, Kerr, and now Barber in a span of about four and a half minutes. The go-ahead goal at 16.51. Barber his fifth from Sinisalo and Doug Crossman. The Kings had control of the game, and it, ever since Brad Marsh made that save, the Flyers have come back and taken the lead now at 4-3. Kings with it. Here's Charlie Simmer on the left wing. Can't clear it out. Now he does up the center. Here's Dion with it. Dion with a step on Mark Howe. Dion, flyer zone. Tried to pass to Houston in the slot. Tipped away. Now Houston with it. Over to Simmer. Simmer shooting wide to the left side. And the rebound off the boards taken by the Flyers. Right wing, here's Ray Allison. Allison to center with McLeish. Allison across the line. Tipped away by Jay Wells. Picked up by the Kings. Here's Marcel Dion. Playing in his 950th NHL game tonight. He comes across the line, gets knocked down by Howe, and the puck taken by the Flyers. 2.14 left to go here in the second period. Dion steals it at the left point. His shot deflected. Simmer picks it up. Simmer, Flyer zone, centers it to Houston, tipped away. Houston with a long reach, gives it to Dion. Left point now. Wells shoots, deflected, and underneath the stick of Brian uh, Engblom at the blue line and back out to center. Engblom gets back to give it to Wells. 155 left to go in the second period. 3-3 tie. At one point, the Kings had a 3-1 lead. Here's McClellan with it. He's looking for the hat trick tonight. He comes down the left side, goes in deep. He's checked there, and uh, Mark Howe holds the puck against the boards in the flyer zone with a minute 45 to go in the second period. Brian McClellan, number 27 for the Kings, with two goals in the game tonight. This game is coming to you from the Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Kings hockey being brought to you tonight by Toyota. See the SR5 4x4 sports truck at your Toyota dealer. And brought to you by Foot Locker. Foot Locker is America's most complete athletic footwear store. Flyers with it in their own zone, moving left to right, nearing the end of the second period. Nick will be talking with one of the Kings live between periods. Puck comes off on the right side. Chorney tried to send it ahead to Bernie Nichols, tipped away by the Flyers, back out to center, taken there, and driven back into the Philadelphia zone by Mark Hardy. Comes around to Brad Marsh. His pass off the board, stolen by Nichols in the middle now. McClellan looking for the hat trick. He shoots, blocked in front by Brad Marsh again. Back come the Flyers. 1.13 to go, second period. 4-3 Philadelphia. Hardy sweeps it away at center ice. Picked up by Marsh. Here's Brad Marsh back at his own blue line. He comes up to center. He's bothered at center ice by Bernie Nichols. Marsh flips it into the King zone, and Brian McClellan takes it there. One the minute left to go period. in the second period. Pass up to center ice now by Hardy. Taken away by McCrimmon. His pass on the right side. Uh, Hardy was hooking. Pop, pop, shooting. Tipped away. Now picked up by Pop. He gets knocked down behind the net by Chorney. They could have had Hardy for hooking and let it go. Now go back from the Kings. Here's Nichols, right wing. He gives it to Fox. Fox, right wing board. His pass left point. Wells with a lot of room. Wells moves around Holmgren. Wells in deep. Tried to center it. Taken away by Brad McCrimmon. Out to the right point. Engblom holds it in for the Kings. His pass in deep to Fox. Fox behind the flyer net. Fox left side to Wells. He shoots wide to the right side. Rebound off the boards and out the center ice. 20 seconds left to go in the second period. Puck taken by Charlie Simmer now. Simmer checked uh, against the board. Puck is picked up by Ron Sutter. Ahead to twin brother Rich. Rich Sutter shooting over the net and up into the crowd. With nine seconds to go here in the second period. And the Sutter twin, Rich, can't believe he got the shot up that high. Some players have said you play the uh, Philadelphia Flyers now with the twin brothers, Rich and Ron, on the ice. Feel like you're going in circles. One twin hits you, you get up, and another twin hits you. You think you're just uh, getting nowhere out there. They play just like their brothers. Pretty tough hockey. They said you should have seen uh, the games they used to have back in the farm in Alberta. Four seconds ago in this period now, here is Brian Engblom, sends it to Houston as time runs out in the second period. Third of the season, assisted by Mark Howe. Sittler, the veteran, came down the left wing. 
Blake moved out to meet him, and Sittler from the top of the faceoff circle just drove it into the net. It was a three-on-two break. It came at 12-19, and that put the Flyers right back in the game. They trailed by one goal at that point at 3-2. to two. Then at 13:58, the leading goal scorer on the Flyers coming into the game, uh, Tim Kerr, who had seven, got his eighth of the year on a power play. Kerr with his back to the net. He's number 12. He turned around and just took a little look and flipped it into the corner. McLeish and Barber with the assist. Russ Anderson of the Kings was in the penalty box for tripping. So it was a power play goal for Tim Kerr, and that tied the game at 3-3. Then at 16:51, Bill Barber from the right side got his fifth of the year, assisted by Ilka Sinasalo and Doug Crossman as Barber picked a really uh, short side and a tough uh, corner to pick, but he put it up over the left arm of Mike Blake up under the crossbar. So the Flyers had scored four goals in four minutes and 32 seconds, and they took the lead four to three, and that's where we stand. So we'll see if the Kings can come out flying here in the third and get right back into it. They're only down by a goal. Here with the third period, 4-3 Flyers once again, Bob. All right, Nick, thank you. Kings drive it into the Flyer zone, and the Flyers take over. They're moving from right to left. Here's Bill Barber tipping it up to center to Bobby Clark. Clark trying to get around Engblom, spins around, drives it into the Kings zone. Third period just underway. Here's Barber, left wing side, tried to give it to Clark. Tipped away, but not out. Held in, in front, Sinasello shooting, and a save by Blake, and the puck comes up over the glass, up into the crowd. Again, the Kings had problems around their own net. It started when Mike Blake played the puck behind the cage, McClellan went behind the net to play the puck, but Blake threw it off the near boards, and that's when the Flyers finally did intercept, and Sinisalo got the eventual shot away from high in the slot. No traffic in front, so Blake got a good look at it. Ilka Sinisalo, one of a uh, few Europeans with the Flyers, and the uh, Flyers were one of the last clubs in the National Hockey League to add Europeans to the roster, but now it seems like everybody's got a couple of them. Bernie Nichols won the draw. Here's Nichols up the center ice to the red line now. Nichols to the flyer line. Rolls it in to Jim Fox, but the Kings are offside on the play. Individually, the Kings, as far as shots go, Marcel Dion has five shots tonight, and Brian McClellan has four shots, and he's shooting at 50%. He scored on two of those four. The Bernie Nichols line, how effective have they been this year? As they come skating off, Dion out with Houston and Simmer. Well, Nichols' line has been out for 26 of the 51 goals for. That means they've been out for over half the team's total output. Now at center in front of the flyer bench, Mark Chorney drives it back behind the flyer net, and Miroslav Dvorak takes over there. Dvorak's pass comes up now along the boards, and now here's Dave Poulin at center. Poulin, the rookie, sends it down into the King's zone. Mike Blake flips it off in the corner, but Holmgren picks it up there. Here's Holmgren, checked against the boards by Mark Hardy in the King's zone. Centers it up the middle to prop, couldn't get a shot. Left point, here's Brad Marsh, who shoots, deflected wide to the right side, and Charlie Simmer will pick it up. Here's Simmer, up to center ice. Simmer, checked there, and the Flyers take it away. It's 4-3 Philadelphia. We have just started the third period. Bob Miller along with Nick Nixon. Glad you could join us tonight. Long pass off the boards into the King zone, chased in by Mark Hardy. Hardy's pass up to Houston on the right wing. He clears it out to center ice, taken away with the Flyers. Here's Dvorak with it, sends it right back into the King zone. Flyers will change on the fly. Kings pick it up. Hardy behind the King net, sends it up the left side to Dion. Here's Dion to the red line. Dion drives it down into the Flyers zone. The rebound toward the back of the net. Kings will change on the fly now. J.P. Kelly up the middle of the alley in front. He shoots, and it's deflected just wide as the goaltender Lindbergh was out on the faceoff circle, but the Kings were changing on the fly and had nobody there to get that rebound. Now a shot at uh, Blake, and he steers it away. The shot was by Sittler. Sittler behind the King net. Sittler, his pass, out toward the left point and poked out the center by the Kings. Picked up by Kevin LaValley down the right wing. LaValley with Kelly. LaValley shoots, deflected high off the glass, and the rebound held against the side of the net by the goaltender Kelly Lindbergh. We have played two minutes of the third period, and the Flyers lead it four to three over Kevin, the Los Angeles Kings. Excuse me, Bob. Kevin LaValle, a couple of scoring opportunities on that shift as he moved into the slot, let a shot go, was deflected behind the goaltender Lindbergh as Lindbergh came sliding out, but it was uh, rolling ever so slowly, and that allowed the Flyers to come back and pick it up and turn it up ice. Face off to the right of Pelle Lindbergh, 4-3, Flyers lead it. They got three quick goals after the Kings had a 3-1 lead in the second period. Flyers come to center now. Here's Mark Howe. Howe gives it on the left side to Tim Kerr. Kerr cutting in around. Engblom got a shot, but a save made by Blake. Wasn't a good shot. 
Mark Howe back to get it. He used to go to the old Olympia in Detroit, watch his father Gordy Howe play, then earn money cleaning up the seats afterwards. Here's McLeish shooting save made by Blake. Rick McLeish came down the right side and had a good chance, and Blake made the save. Flyers lead it 4-3. Kings with a Lavalley shooting, and it goes up into the crowd. Kevin Lavalley with that big slap shot. And on that shift, he had three opportunities, but they were all deflected. Sometimes that wrist shot, like Mark Howe uses so much, you mentioned uh, his name just a few seconds ago, is uh, the better of the two opportunities when you get a chance uh, to shoot the puck. But right there, the defenseman got in the way again. Different game tonight than in 1979 here when the Kings and the Flyers had 380 penalty minutes in one game here. You missed those great old days, Nick. You did. I don't miss them at all, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Rather see this kind of game. Down the right side, Hardy drops it back and a shot wide to the right side by Fox. Picked up by Bernie Nichols. Flyers zone. Up the middle of Fox. Save. Rebound. McClellan scores the hat trick. Brian McClellan with a couple of whacks at it gets the hat trick. And Pelly Lindbergh, the goaltender, is upset. I think he thinks the whistle should have blown. But Brian McClellan, just on the right side of the net, gets his first NHL hat trick, and Jimmy Fox digs out the puck for a souvenir. And the Kings have tied the game at four to four. Again, a great play by that line. Nichols in the slot to Fox, who shot off the pass, the rebound. McClellan kept poking away and finally beat goaltender Pelly Lindbergh. I'll tell you this, the referee Ron Hogarth had a perfect vantage point to make that call. Apparently, he felt that Lindbergh never did have possession long enough to force a stoppage. So McClellan with the goal, the hat trick, his sixth goal of the season. His first NHL hat trick for the young rookie, and we have an icing call against the Kings now. 17.09 to go in the game. We're tied at four. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. But three of the Kings' four goals here tonight has tied the game at four. 17.09 to go in the game. Bobby Clark on the faceoff to the right of goaltender Mike Blake of the Kings. Bernie Nichols on the faceoff with him. And the puck goes to Brad Marsh. He shoots at a glove save by Blake. From a steep angle on the left faceoff circle, Brad Marsh with a shot. And Mike Blake made the save in his glove, and he hangs on. The goal, McClellan, his sixth. The 242, Fox assists nine. Nichols, number 14. Bernie with three assists. He's assisted on all three McClellan goals. Barber shooting as Clark won the draw. It's wide to the left. McClellan picks it up. He sends it out to center. Taken away by Bill Barber. Barber for the Flyers. Sends it back to the King line. Russ Anderson gives it to Fox. Fox ahead. Down the middle. Bernie Nichols all alone. Right side. Nichols forced wide by the goaltender. Couldn't get a shot. Here's Nichols with it again. Right wing. His pass deflected. Flyers come back. Clark to Barber. Pass up on the right wing now. And Ilka Sinasalo brings it across the line. Then loses it back out at center. Poked ahead to Nichols. Nichols down the left side. Nichols with Fox the trailer. Gives it to Fox. Poked away by Doug Crossman. 16.35 left to go in the game. Bob Miller along with Nick Nixon. Kings have tied at 4-4. Up to center, here's Crossman. He flips it into the King zone. Mike Blake moves to his left, stops it there, drives it back behind the net. The Kings start out again, pass to Bernie Nichols. Nichols took it from Hardy. Gives it to Houston on the right wing. Kings changing on the fly. Prop takes it away. Here's Brian Prop, left side, King zone. Prop trying to get around Hardy. Gets some help from Dion, but now it comes into Dave Pullen. Pullen checked by Anderson. Puck is back behind the net of the Kings and taken away by Kenny Houston. Took it away from Holmgren. Now to center to Simmer. Simmer passing back to the right side. Dion chases it off the boards. Can't get it. Crossman with it. Back behind the flyer net. 15.55 to go in the game. Flyers bring it to center. Here's Holmgren. Holmgren down the right side. Born in St. Paul, Minnesota. Played at the University of Minnesota. Centers it up the middle. The Crossman tipped away. Kings with it. Back they come. Simmer up the center. Three on three. He's got Dion on the right side. Couldn't get it to him. Simmer changes directions. Comes across the line. Down the left side. Trying to get around the trimmer. Simmer shoots. Blocked away as uh, Lavalle got knocked down. Puck them back up to the Flyers now. On the right side, they come into the King zone. Here's Brian Pop in the middle, shooting save by Blake. Pop right in the slot, got the pass from Poulin and got a shot up high and it hit Blake. Kings come back. Here's Dion the center. Here's Dion to the Flyer line. Six footer over the net, off the glass. Puck is back behind the net, picked up by J.P. Kelly. Kelly throws it off in the corner. Kelly's pass, intercepted now by the Flyers and back they come. Here comes Rich Sutter. He got the first goal of the game. He gives it to Sittler. Sittler's pass back in the right wing corner. Rich Sutter with it. Tried to give it to twin brother Ron. Fanned on his pass. Now Rich tries to give it to Ron again. Ruskowski checks Sutter. They battle against the boards. Sutter digs it out. Ron Sutter in front. Blocked by Engblom as he tried to pass to Sittler. And Engblom broke it up. 4-4 tie. Kings and the Flyers. 14-48 to go in the game. Puck comes back into the flyer zone. Glenn Cochran's pass off on the right side. Now a long pass is going to be icing against the Flyers. Engblom will get back to touch it. Icing against Philadelphia. 
14-39 to go in the game. And the Kings and the Flyers are tied at 4-4. Four four. This game coming to you from in front, not playing the man, but rather watching the play, playing the puck. But tonight you can see a concerted effort to improve in those areas. They're not chasing that puck as much as they uh, had been earlier on this road trip. They really, uh, start the penalty killing situations. And as we mentioned earlier, they go as long as they can, 40, 45 seconds, and then uh, come off for usually McClellan and Bernie Nichols. Flyers with it, Brad Marsh. He's got one save in the game tonight. He got into an empty flyer net and made a save as he beat Hawkinson. That could have given the Kings a uh, big lift at that point. Now a drive from the left side by Marsh, broken up, held in, right side, Allison. His shot blocked into the corner by Russ Anderson. Puck taken by Rick McLeish, King zone. McLeish has passed, back behind the net. Now it comes along the boards. McLeish goes for it again, can't get it. Doug Smith digs it out. Smith up the center with Wes Jarvis. Here's Doug Smith coming to the flyer line, down the left side, drops it back for Jarvis. Jarvis with a shot saved by Lindbergh. Smith got taken out of the play, and the puck is back behind the flyer net. Devorja passes up to Ray Allison on the right side. He drives at the length of the ice, and we're going to get another icing call against the Flyers. And the fans are all over the Flyers now. 16,137 is the attendance tonight. 16,137. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Lindbergh, and off the draw, the Flyers control it. 13-36 left to go in this game. It's tied at four. Up to center. Here come the Flyers. Crossman with it. Crossman gives it to Bobby Clark. And the Flyers go offside at the King Blue line. Let's get back and tell you a bit more about the Bernie Nichols line with Fox and McClellan. They have 10 scoring points here tonight. So they now have 53 scoring points, which is the total of goals and assists in their last 10 games. Jimmy Fox, a personal 10-game point scoring streak. Jim with a point uh, in the first period and one here in the third. So Fox with 17 points in that 10 game streak. And if you average that out, it's about two goals a game for that line. So uh, good production from that Nichols, Fox, McCullen trio. Now at center, that line out again now, but uh, Bobby Clark has it for the Flyers. Remember the Kings home next Tuesday night against the St. Louis Blues at the fabulous forum. Here's Jay Wells at center ice. Wells over to Bernie Nichols. Tips it into the flyer zone. Bobby Clark in to get it. Clark sends it back behind the net over to Crossman. Crossman starts it out of his own zone. Up to center come the Flyers. Here's Bill Barber. Barber trying to get around England. Get the weak shot. Save made by the King goaltender Blake. And he covers up as Brad McCrimmon walked right in on him. Prop ready on the, or on, excuse me, on the draw. The uh, faceoff taken by the Flyers. Dave Poulin got it over to Prop. Now Holmgren battles for it. Kicks it loose here in front alone. Poulin. Shooting save by Blake at point blank range. Dave Poulin had all day. He even made two or three moves, and Blake made the save, and the game remains tied at four. Boy, that's when you need the big save, Nick. See if it lifts the club. Those are the saves that you long for game after game. There's Holmgren. Tried to step across the King line. Couldn't get around Hardy. Kings take it away. Flyers intercept at center right. Poulin drives it right back into the King zone. Chorney and Prop goes for it. Chorney gets knocked out. Prop digs it out. Centers it out in front. And Poulin tried to get to it. And Blake covers it up that time. Fans reacting because the puck came free after the Flyers had tried to lodge it from the pads of Mike Blake after Blake had held on apparently long enough for Shooter to make the first move. And that was the key right there. 12.22 to go in regulation time. Game tied 4-4. Face off to the right of Mike Blake. Ron Sutter facing off against Terry Rostowski. And they're going to kick Ron Sutter out, and Daryl Sittler comes in to take the draw. Sittler, 33-year-old veteran, had many great years in Toronto. He wins the draw back to Brad Marsh. Left point, he shoots just wide to the right side. J.P. Kelly tries to clear it. Can't do it. Held in by Rich Sutter at the right point. Now to Sittler in the slot. Tipped away and held in by Rich Sutter again. Sutter right side to Sittler in front. Tipped away. King pick it up. On the right side, here's Kevin LaValley. LaValley up to center ice. Passes off the left wing boards and J.P. Kelly couldn't handle it. It comes in back behind the flyer net. Then we have an icing call. Ron Sutter against Ruskowski. Ruskowski wins the draw. Kings try to clear it. It comes to the blue line. Sittler tried to hold it in, but it comes up over the glass into the crowd. Big 4-0. 40 years old for Peter Demers tomorrow. We wish him a very happy birthday. Kings drive it into the flyer zone. Gets the right wing side. LaValley with a shot from a steep angle is wide. Puck is picked up now by the Flyers. Here's Brad McCrimmon. He's been playing an outstanding game on defense so far this season for the Flyers. His pass off the boards comes all the way back over the stick of Engblom into the King zone. Engblom gives it to Wells. He tips it out to center. Flyers take it away. Back to the King line. Tim Kerr can't get around Engblom. 
Englund sends it to the flyer line. Here's Crossman with it. Crossman for Philadelphia sends it in deep. Back behind the King net. Picked up by Englund. Englund wraps it around the boards. McLeish tries to take it away. He does. Ray Allison with it. Allison sends it back behind the King net and around the boards. And Kevin LaValle will try to poke it out. Can't do it. Crossman holds it in. Crossman sends it back behind the King net again. And Brian Englund with it. He sends it back along the boards. And again, the Flyers have it. Here's Kerr with it. He's checked by Wes Jarvis. Kerr and Jarvis battle for it. Now it's against the boards and comes back behind the King net. Picked up by Jay Wells. And this time he sends it right up the center. And we're going to have an icing call. So all of a sudden, Nick, oh, Wes hmm. Jarvis against Bobby Clark. Clark, Barber, and Sinasalo up front for the Flyers. And off the draw, the loose puck is picked up by Barber. Barber's got Sinasalo in front, couldn't get it to him. He got knocked down by Russ Anderson. Anderson takes Barber out of the play, and the Kings pick it up. Here's Jarvis up to center. Kings moving left to right. Jarvis shoots from center right. It's high and over the net off the glass. And fallen on behind the Flyer net by Mark Howe. And we'll have a Jarvis off. poised at the top of the faceoff circle, and the puck comes out to the blue line. Russ Anderson with it. Anderson for the Kings. Sends it around the right side. Hawkinson overskated it there and is picked up by the Flyers. Bill Barber. Barber checked along the boards by Jarvis. Puck is picked up now by Hawkinson. Can't hold it in as the Flyers clear it back out to center. Kings take over. Here's Hardy in the neutral zone. He gives it to Russ Anderson. Anderson still with it. He passes to Anders Hawkinson. Off his stick. Now Hawkinson pokes it in, then gets knocked down, and the Flyers take over. Here comes Mark Howe, up to center ice. Game tied 4-4. Howe to the king line. Howe down the middle. Howe in front and couldn't get the shot off as he got checked at the last minute by Bernie Nichols. Great effort by Bernie Nichols. He dove and poked the puck off the stick of Mark Howe on a great individual rush by the Flyer defenseman. Now the Kings steal it. Flyer zone at the blue line. McClellan, he tried to get it to Smith. Broken up now by Clark. Smith steals it. Here's Smith, left side to McClellan. He shoots. He scores his fourth of the game. Ryan McClellan with his fourth goal of the game, and the Kings lead five to four. What Doug. a beautiful shot by Brian McClellan. A nice play by Doug Smith. Smith picked up the puck, moved right in. The defense had to back up. Smith knew McClellan was the trailer. He dropped it. Lindbergh may have been screened, but an excellent shot by McClellan. Upper left corner, his fourth goal of the game, seventh goal of the season. He now joins uh, quite a few Kings players who have scored four goals in a game. That ties a club record. Ryan McClellan with his fourth of the game, and the Kings lead it 5-4. 9.20 to go here in the third period. Puck is out at center ice. Dvorak with it. Here's Miroslav Dvorak at the red line. Passes on the right side. Here's Holmgren in the Kings zone. Into the slot. He shoots it off the glove of Blake. Puck comes back along the right side. Holmgren to the right point to Dvorak. To the left point to Marsh. Marsh sends it down the left side. In deep, Dave Poulin. Poulin gives it behind the net, and Holmgren tried to feed it out in front. The Kings lost it as McClellan gave it right back to Holmgren. Holmgren shot his wide. Poulin with it. Gives it behind the net to Holmgren. Prop is also there. Prop tries to dig it out. He did. Now it comes over to Holmgren. Holmgren tried to give it back to Prop, and now it comes in the right wing corner. King zone. Poulin with it. Poulin shooting. Stick saved by Blake. Rebound left side. Brad Marsh drives it back behind the net. Prop didn't get it, but Poulin will hold it in. Here's Dave Poulin. He's checked by Bernie Nichols. Nichols and Poulin against the boards. Puck is dug out and cleared out to center ice by the Kings with 8.27 to go in the game. 5-4. Kings lead. Puck stolen by Bernie Nichols. He's got room on a breakaway down the left side. Nichols in front alone. He shoots. Saved by Kelly Lindbergh. A diving save. Puck taken by Jimmy Fox. Fox in the flyer zone. Fox throws it in deep and it's intercepted by Brad Marsh. Oh, a great chance for the Kings to have a two-goal lead. And Kelly Lindbergh made the big save on Bernie Nichols. Now let's see if that lifts the Flyers. Flyers drive it into the Kings zone. The crowd really rolling now with eight minutes to go in the game. Kings lead it 5-4. Here is Rich Sutter trying to go in, and Dion Pope checks it away in the Kings zone. Picked up by Houston. He sends it up the center to Bernie Nichols. Or to, excuse me, uh, Charlie Simmer. Simmer down the left side. Simmer into Dion. Dion tried to pass up the middle. He did. To Simmer. To the right point. To Hardy. Hardy's got room. He shoots wide. Hit the outside of the right goal post. Simmer goes for it. Back behind the net with Crossman. Simmer with it. Simmer right side. Tried to jam it in. Save made. Rebound is falling on by the goaltender, Pelly Lindbergh. And they blow the whistle, even though no pressure by the Kings right at that point. And they made a breakaway. He stole the puck from Dvorak right at the red line. Had a clean breakaway from center ice in. He deked the goaltender down, but Lindbergh did a great job to slide across to his left and got a piece of it. Bernie could have gotten a little higher with that shot. He had a sure goal, and he was going high, but the puck was knocked down by the goaltender Lindbergh. Kings hold it in. 
Flyers take it away in their own zone. Pass by Glenn Cochran all the way down to the King zone. We're going to get icing against the Flyers here. Russ Anderson back to touch it. Left of goaltender Pally Lindbergh on the draw. Charlie Simmer facing off against Tim Kerr. Kerr wins the draw. Flyers with it. Moving right to left. Kings ahead 5-4. Long pass up the center ice taken away by Dion. Dion at the King line. Passes over to Hardy. Here's Hardy giving it on the right side to Kenny Houston. Houston flips it into the Flyers zone. Seven minutes exactly left to go in the game, and the Kings ahead 5-4. Flyers bring it up the center. Kerr can't get around Hardy. Hardy gives it to Simmer. Simmer with a nice move. Gets around Rick McLeish. Simmer to the red line. Simmer to the flyer line. Left wing trying to get around Howe. He bumps Howe. Now pass out to the right point. Kings will hold it in. Mark Hardy with it. Hardy throws it in deep to Simmer. Simmer right side of the net in front to Houston. Loose puck. Simmer shoots. He scores! Charlie Simmer picked up the loose puck just to the right corner of the crease, and he flipped it in. And Charlie Simmer gives the Kings a 6-4 lead. Again, Ken Houston putting his big body in front, created a diversion or two. Simmer came from behind the cage, picked up the loose puck. No one picked Simmer up, and he just popped it home. The Kings lead 6-4 to four the second time tonight. They've led by two goals, and the goal for Charlie Simmer will be his eighth of the season. So the Kings coming back from a one-goal deficit here in the third period at the start of the period. They've scored three unanswered goals and have a two-goal lead with 6.38 left. Charlie Simmer with his eight. That's 13-22. Ken Houston and Mark Hardy get the assist. Hardy with three assists tonight. Now the puck back in the flyer zone. That's the 196th goal for Charlie Simmer. He's only four away from 200 now. Puck taken in the flyer zone by Brad Marsh. And now up to center. It's picked up by Ilka Sinasalo. He's bumped there. He flips it into the King zone. Right wing side. Jay Wells back to get it. Wells, his pass along the boards. Kings try to clear it, and they do as Ruskowski clears it out to center. Six minutes exactly to go in the game. Six four Kings. They came into the third period trailing 4-3. Now flipped up in the air by Brad Marsh into the King zone. Two goals in the third period by McClellan and one by Simmer for the Kings. At center ice, here's Terry Ruskowski. Ruskowski around Holmgren. Ruskowski into the flyer zone. His pass left side. Jay Wells off the board and shoots high and off the glass. And the puck comes up into the crowd. Kings flip it into the flyer zone. Lindbergh cuts it off behind the net, taken by Doug Crossman. 5.28 to go in the game, and the Kings ahead 6-4. Here come the Flyers. Up to center ice. Dave Poulin, the rookie, sends it into the King zone. Mike Blake behind the net. Sweeps it around the boards, but Poulin goes right for it, picks it up again. He gives it to Holmgren. Holmgren checked against the boards, and the Kings get some help from Bernie Nichols. Holmgren checked by Hardy. Puck is not whistled dead yet. Flyers kick it loose. Here's Holmgren, left side. His pass in front, broken up by Nichols to Russ Anderson. Up to Jimmy Fox on the right side. Brian McClellan's on the ice. He's got four already tonight. Here's Fox, gives it to McClellan. Left wing side. He eludes a check from McCrimmon. Puck comes left point. Russ Anderson holds it in. He drives it back behind the flyer net, taken away by the Kings. Jimmy Fox. Fox, pass up the middle, tried to get it to Nichols, broken up by Dave Poulin. The pride of Bowling Green, Ohio University. Brian McClellan with four goals here tonight in his greatest night in the National Hockey League. Played only eight games with the Kings last year. Here's Crossman for the Flyers into the Kings zone. Crossman to the left side. Sends it down the right wing corner. Taken there by Ron Sutter. His pass behind the net to Sittler. Tipped away. Wells goes forward with Sittler. Right wing corner King zone. And the Kings come out with it. Wells pass up to center ice and all the way to the flyer line. 4.15 to go in the game. 6-4 Kings lead. Pass at center ice. Loose puck. Picked up by the Kings. Doug Smith. He's pumped there. Smith still with it. Passes back in the King zone to Engblom. His pass up to center ice. Out of the reach of Wes Jarvis. It comes all the way down the flyer zone. This is going to be out twice. The most recent before tonight. Bernie Nichols a couple of weeks ago against Edmonton. Now the puck against the left wing boards in the Kings zone. Sittler is there, but uh, so is Brian Engblom for the Kings, and he holds it there. Of course, uh, the Flyers down by two with under four minutes left will probably be taking some chances offensively with their defensemen and this is when you can take advantage of the defenseman being cut off ice and a shot from the left side by Ron Sutter is wide and off the boards it comes back to center ice 
345 left to go in the game. Kings ahead 6-4. Pass up to center by the Flyers, Mark Howe. Taken away by Brian Englund. He got it to Kenny Houston. His pass intercepted by Howe. Howe back to center. Howe for the Flyers across the King line. His shot deflected into the corner by Brian Englund. And Jay Wells picks it up there. Wells checked in the corner. Sittler digs it out. He's checked by Dion. Dion and Sittler spin around. Sittler still with it now. Now he's checked by Simmer. Now Wells picks it up behind the King net. Wells pass back over to Simmer on the left side. Simmer clears it out to center ice. 3.18 to go in the game. Kings lead it 6-4. to four. Here's Dion right in front of the Flyer bench. He's checked there by Daryl Sittler. Ron Sutter with it for the Flyer. Here's Sutter to the red line. Now to the King line. Ron Sutter tried to get on the middle. Engblom poked it away. Back out to center ice. Kings pick it up. Dion throws it off the right wing boards into the Flyer zone. Miroslav Dvorak back to get it. His pass to center ice taken away by Fox. He gives it to Wells. Wells at the King line. He sends it to the flyer line. Dvorak breaks it up to McLeish. Now on the right side, McLeish cutting in deep and can't get around Hardy. Hardy takes him into the boards. Now Ray Allison goes for it. Jay Wells has it. 2.44 to go in the game. 6-4 Kings lead. Looking for their second straight win here at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. We'll start the streak the other way this year. <laughs> right. Now Tim Kerr drives it into the King zone. It comes over to Russ Anderson for the Kings. His pass taken away. Flyers try to hold it in and they do. Allison's pass intercepted by Russ Anderson. He clears it back out the center. Picked up by Marsh, stolen by Nichols. Nichols cutting in, and an offside. He dragged it in behind him offside. Would have had a breakaway if he could have remained. Now somebody comes off. Mark Hardy comes off. Jay Wells stays out in defense with Brian Engblom. Face off outside the flyer blue line. Kings home next Tuesday night. The St. Louis Blues, led by the big goaltender Mike Liute, will be there. Tickets available in advance. Flyers win the draw. Here's Clark at center. He sends it down. The goaltender Lindbergh heads for the bench. Kelly Lindbergh coming to the bench. The flyer net is empty with 2.11 to go. The Kings drive at the length of the ice, and we're going to get an icing call against the Kings. Southern California. Saturday night will be in Hartford. Radio only, live at 4.20. All right, face off in the King zone. To the left of Mike Blake, Bobby Clark against Marcel Dion. Two veterans going head-to-head -head right here now, and important face-offs as we get down to the last 2.07 to go in regulation. And on the draw, battle for it in the face-off spot, and it was dropped unfairly. They'll face it off again. Again to the left of Mike Blake. Marcel Dion facing off for the Kings, 33 years old. Bobby Clark for the Flyers, 34 years old. The Flyers have the extra attacker. Their net is wide open at the other end. Now Charlie Simmer in to take the face off against Ron Sutter. Sutter wins the draw. Right point. Shot by the Crimmins. Saved by Blake. A glove save and he hangs on. Another face off in the King zone. 2.01 to go in the game. And the Kings ahead 6-4. to four. Mike Blake with a lot of traffic in front of him, saw the puck enough to get his glove on it and hang on. Now the Kings send out Terry Ruskowski. Flyers have Bobby Clark out, Ron Sutter, Bill Barber, Brad McCrimmon, Doug Crossman. They have the extra attacker out, face off to the left of Blake. Dion against Clark again. 6-4, Kings lead. And on the loose puck, it comes to the right side boards. Kings try to clear it out. Ruskowski gets knocked down. The puck is still in. Now the Kings can't clear it. Held in. Shot by Barber. Saved by Blake. That's behind the net. Ron Sutter taken out of the play there. Rich Sutter picks it up, and he is leveled on a hard check by Marcel Dion. He just leveled Rich Sutter. Sutter with it again. Left wing side. He's checked again by Dion. Sutter's pass stolen by the Kings. Engblom clears it, but it came up over the glass. What a great play by Marcel Dion. I don't think Sutter expected to be hit and hit that hard by a guy like Marcel Dion, who's not noted as being uh, that type of a checker, although at times he'll play the man very well. But he just lined up Sutter, and Marcel can sense that the Kings have two points if they can just play sound defensive hockey around goaltender Mike Blake in the remaining two minutes. Good save by Blake, too, on that shot just moments before Dion threw that check. 1.37 to go in the game. 6-4 Kings. Four goals tonight by Brian McClellan of the Kings. Face off to the right of Mike Blake this time. Tim Kerr facing off for the Flyers. Again against Marcel Dion of the Kings. And the draw in the slot. Shot wide to the right side by Brian Trout. Picked up, centered in front. Cleared to the blue line. Held in. Mark Howe shoots. Block. Rebound. Sent against the right side board. It is picked up by McClellan. He shoots at the length of the ice. It's way wide of the empty net. We're going to get the Dion chasing it down. And it's touched instead by Howe. And we get the icing call against the Kings. Had Dion gotten to it, would have been an offside pass rather than again. 
And again, Marcel Dion to face off against Tim Kerr. And the draw. Kings in the front of Blake. It comes right toward him. Blake tips it away against the boards. Left wing side. Hard check throw in there. Poulin tries to pick it up. Prop is there. Kings with it. Engblom sends it out to center. 109 to go in the game. 6-4 Kings. Mark Howe back to get it at his own blue line. He sends it off on the right side to Daryl Sittler. He slaps it back in the Kings zone. Blake went to cut it up behind the net. Didn't get a pass in front. Saved by Blake as Crossman with a shot. Rebound. Crossman shooting. Score! Crossman with 55 seconds to go in the game. Now it's 6-5. to five. Crossman had one chance. The Flyers held it in. It came back to Crossman, and Blake was down on the ice, and Crossman, the defenseman, in deep, put it up over Blake. And now it is 6-5, to five, Kings, with 55 seconds to go. And the Kings never did get a good shot at that empty net. The Flyers are not going to put their goaltender back in. Face off at center. Kerr against the Nichols. 6-5. Kings hang on. Crossman with it. 49 seconds to go in the game. Pass over to Dave Poulin. He sends it in. Blake stops it. Gives it to the left side boards. Flyers try to dig it out. They do. Kerr. Pass in front. Intercepted by Nichols. Nichols gives it to McClellan. McClellan clears it out to center ice. 33 seconds to go in the game. Back to get it is Crossman. 6-5 Kings. Crossman's pass. Comes all the way down to the Kings zone. Chase down. There's going to be icing if Engblom gets to it. He did not. Flyers with it. Pass out in front. Batted in midair. Where is it? The whistle blow. The puck was batted in midair and somebody had fallen on it. Maybe Bernie Nichols. Engblom went back to get it to touch it for icing. He got checked and didn't get it. The puck came right into the slot. Poulin batted at it. Kerr came diving in. Nichols was there, and Kenny Houston skate just knocked it under the leg of Bernie Nichols. The referee, Ron Hogarth, lost sight of the puck and blew the whistle. Oh, brother. 20 seconds to go in the game. And the Flyers fighting right to the final second. Listen to the fans, those that are left here now. A standing ovation for the Flyers. It's 6-5 Kings, 20 seconds to go. That's the draw, Englom, can he clear it? No, Crossman, left point, holds it in. Behind the net, Wells, Wells pass, up over the glass into the crowd. 11 seconds to go, and I don't know how many face-offs we've had in the Kings zone, but it's got to be bordering now on about 8 or 10. 11 seconds to go in regulation. Now remember, if the Flyers tie it, we go into sudden death overtime. Here we go again. Face off to the left of Blake. Dion against Kerr. Things win the draw. Don't clear it. Crossman shooting. Deflected wide. Seven seconds to go in the game. Kerr with it. Taken away. Not cleared. Cross shot by Howell. Deflected wide by Blake. One second. It's over. The Kings win it. The Kings win it. And Mike Blake came up with a big save with a lot of traffic around him with about five seconds to go. And time ran out. The Flyers did put a shot into the net at the end of the game, but time had run out. And the Kings win for the second consecutive time here at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, 6-5. I'll tell you one thing. You got to hand the Flyers, give them a hand and give them some credit. They looked like they were out of it. Down two goals, pulled their goaltender with 2-11 left and still put some pressure on. The save was on a shot by Howe as the uh, goaltender Mike Blake made the save on it. The shots on goal, the Flyers had 40 in the game. The Kings had 34, but the Kings win it 6-5, to five, and we'll be back in one minute. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. And Nick Nixon, brought to you by your local Pepsi-Cola bottling group. Bottlers of Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Pepsi Light, Mountain Dew, and new caffeine-free Pepsi Free. Hello again, everyone, from the Spectrum in Philadelphia. Bob Miller along with Nick Nixon, where tonight the Kings, led by four goals by rookie Brian McClellan, win for the second straight time here at the Spectrum. They beat the Flyers last year 5-4, and tonight the Kings beat the Flyers 6-5. The three stars in the game, star number three from the Philadelphia Flyers, Daryl Sittler, he had two goals and one assist. Star number two from the Kings, Bernie Nichols, no goals and two assists. And star number one, there was uh, never any doubt at the end of this game who star number one was, Brian McClellan, the Kings rookie out of Bowling Green University in Ohio. 
four goals and one assist. And Brian McClellan standing by for an encore performance on the air tonight with Nick Nixon. That's right, Bob. Encore because Brian was our guest between periods two and three. But Brian, you deserve it. Congratulations on a great game. Thank you very much, Dick. Tell us what went through your mind when you got your hat trick goal. Well, I was uh, kind of thinking about it when I went out for the third period. If I got a chance, you know, I'd want to make sure I put it in to get the hat trick. You know, your first hat trick, it's always nice to get. It was kind of a strange goal because uh, it was disputed by the Flyers. But I'll, I'll say this. Referee Ron Hogarth was in good position to see that Lindbergh obviously did not have possession. Yeah, I think uh, Jimmy Fox, uh, he made a shot at the side of the net there. And the rebound was there, but I think the goalie's glove went right over top of it. And then I, I swiped at it once, and the second time I got a hold of it and went in the net. Now, beautiful play uh, on your fourth goal of the night. That came midway through the period at 13:22. The Flyers uh, had some problems throughout the course of the third period in handling the puck around their blue line. Doug Smith pounced on the puck, and then he set you up. Yeah, Dougie made a hell of a play there. I, uh, I thought he was going to go straight to the net, and I was going to come in for the rebound, but uh, I gave him a quick yell, and he put it back to me, and the, the goalie got caught back in his crease, so I uh, put it top shelf. The Kings uh, dominated early in the second period. They gave up three goals to fall behind 4-3 after two. Uh, tell us uh, what Don Perry told the club in between periods two and three, and please censor it if that's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is necessary. Uh, no, he just told us to keep going the way we were going. You know, you can't expect to come into Philadelphia and not go through a bad spot in the game. You know, it's uh, it's one of those things that's going to happen. You just got to weather those things and come out on top, which uh, eventually we did in the third period. We came back out, and uh, we kept playing our game, and uh, it turned it around for us. The problem the Kings have had defensively in their own zone on this road trip has been uh, playing the puck more so than the man. And the practices the last couple of days, I've noticed, have stressed a lot of the drills playing the man. Do you feel you improved in that area tonight? Yeah, I think uh, a couple of the guys have, uh, especially Russ Anderson, I noticed him uh, uh, very uh, very much. Uh, he takes the man real well. And uh, I think it carries over. Once one guy starts doing it, the rest of them start doing it. And uh, the forwards start holding guys up for him, and it uh, turns into a team concept, you know? We talked with Bernie Nichols and Jimmy Fox, your line mates, how they seem to complement each other out there. You're the newcomer on the line. How do you feel you're fitting in as you continually play with those two forwards? I think I'm fitting in well. We have a good chemistry between us. Everybody does a different different job, and uh, everybody works together good. I think if you notice all the good lines, like the Islanders, you know, the Trottier line, they have a, a big corner man, you know, a hustle center that likes to puck, and uh, a shooter like Foxy, and we have uh, all those things in our line, too. Well, you had a great effort tonight. Four goals and one assist. Uh, you've tied a club record for most goals in one game with ten other players. And hopefully you can uh, keep it going from here. But congratulations on another great individual performance. Thanks very much, Nick. Brian McClellan, the game's number one star for the Los Angeles Kings in a 6-5 victory. Four goals and an assist to centerman Bernie Nichols was star number two. He chipped in with three assists. And veteran Daryl Sittler of the Flyers with a goal and an assist was star number three. Bob will be back with more in one minute. This is the Los Angeles and Buckle Up for Safety. So get the feeling whenever you drive. And buy Adidas. For athletes and sports fans alike.